So. But I think that uh, <coughs> Mages is, is, is probably going to be a lot better than they were compared to private servers. Yeah, Mages um, are... Uh, I mean, I'm like, still so going to play that. Warlock, but I will probably go over and main mage. Hunters are also pretty good if they can pop all their CDs and burn the fight fast. So are, so are demos, but yeah. Absolutely. Astro new meta. Yeah, Astro new meta. I mean, you always want to have one demo anyway, right? For the Warlocks. Yeah. yeah. Trying to figure out where to put these fucking camera boxes, bro. I don't really know where to put it with this one. I think up there is fine. As long as it's not a warrior meta, I'm happy. Yeah, same. I'm actually afraid that the uh, tier 6 will become warrior yeah. metal. Yeah, once you get glaives, it's just going to be 19 warriors. Well, I'm already uh, leveling my warlock as we speak. Actually, I need to check on that. I'm getting boosted right now on three characters. There we go. We're up top. He's down there right by the put meters you'll be pumping on, bro. How about that? Okay, gentlemen. Is there music playing? Uh, there's no music playing. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think there should be music okay, playing. Now there's music playing. Uh, the, DM I, the DMCA friendly music. Okay, chair is going to do a demo CLC, but we'll, I don't know. I really like demo boys. Here, we're going to get started here right now. Ready? <laughs> Watch this. Uh, um! <clears throat> good morning, gentlemen. Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. To phase three's first episode. Before you guys flame us, we never claim to do this all the time. Remember, we're only doing like a couple, a few episodes. Although we are going to milk this one out. Oh, is that my music playing or is that your guys' music playing? I'm not playing anything. Playing. Maybe from the vault. Oh yeah, bro. Chair is listening to bangers when he's really. <laughs> God damn, bro. You're pumping, bro. It's, Holy it's, shit. No, it, it's um, it's a monkey news playlist. <laughs> okay, whatever, bro. Is that a blood mall magus blade? I see. Ah, oh, come on. Oh man. Okay, okay. No, um, that's okay. Yes, welcome back. I, I we're got gonna the, do, I got gonna, a new weapon. We're gonna do some uh, tier six pump strats by uh from. Alive and I were missing Riot tonight. He Riot is out traveling. Riot, used to, dude, he is out traveling the world, bro. He is inside an Egyptian pyramid right now. I don't know what he's Wait, doing in there. Are you kidding? He, is he actually bro, in he Egypt? He is in a fucking pyramid right now. So he is traveling the world. He ditched us. It's okay. It's kind of my fault. I'm really bad at scheduling. We don't need to talk about it. And then J Pain also. I think he's working right now. So J Pain because they're here. They're with us in spirit. We're gonna do a big gearing episode where obviously those two will be on there uh, because they're they're my math guys. So that'll be next week. And then we're going to probably do some PV, a couple PV, PVP episodes as well. And then some litching episodes and, you know. But today we're going to go over whatever we can go from start to finish on both raids with... Uh... Oh, Alive's face is not in here. My bad. Let me fix that. Um, Yeah, speaking of, before we get to our guest, Alive, how have you been doing, my friend? A uh, few ups and downs in my uh, real life recently. But other than that, I'm, I've am i been doing pretty good. Okay. Nice. That's good, brother. How do you are, man? You enjoy what are you doing? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Well, as some people know and some people don't know, I'm currently taking a break from TBC because uh, when I saw T6 come out on PTR, it was uh, a little bit too undertuned for my liking. So I decided to take a break until Wrath of Lich King. But I've still been keeping it up with all of the different guilds. Progress, of course. My, my, uh, my guild at heart that I plan to rejoin. And uh, keeping up with the races, keeping up with the loot, watching Crick's ninja loot of Zardoom, and you know whoa, the usual. Whoa, 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 A little that was a CLC? Ninja loot that was hard earned, bro. Uh, you that tell yourself hard, whatever you hard want, hard earned man. Zardoom, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was funny. And uh, how you doing down there, Rich Sherlock? You want to go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, my name is uh, Chair. I main Warlock in Progress. I joined Progress uh, right after Tier 5 release and I've been uh, playing Warlock yeah, as uh, main in the main roster ever since then. Uh, in terms of real life, I'm uh, pretty fine. I had a car accident like two weeks ago, so kind of have uh, some headaches, but uh, it's been it's been getting better. Glad you're okay then, brother. Um... How's the Lamborghini doing? Oh, sadly not the Lambo. <laughs> right. So what is, um, obviously your favorite class is the Warlock, and I don't need you to say no to that even if I'm wrong on that. I wouldn't uh, say that the Warlock hey, is my favorite class. Hey, hey, Warlock podcast, <laughs> we're going to stick with that, okay, buddy? Uh, okay. What's, your favorite, what's your favorite, what's your favorite boss right now? I got a couple questions for both of you guys. So even though Alive is not playing right now, he's clear T6 multiple times on private servers. He knows the game. He's my co-host, so he's going to be on here regardless. Um, I'm going to ask both of you guys a couple questions, but... What is your favorite boss, Cherlock? 
favorite boss six, like right in, in the whole of, of, of six, the no, game or tier six, or tier, six. Oh, tier six um probably console because it's the only somewhat challenging boss right yeah i i don't really like, like the easy bosses i like blood boil as well because you have to do some somehow use your brain or somewhat but uh, i think other than that tier six is pretty pretty sleeper okay well, what about you Bo? for me certainly not anything in hygel that's for sure I would probably say I think blood boil. Yeah, you you actually have to use your your brain, so that's a nice aspect to it. But instead of leaning towards difficulty uh, to get entertainment value, I would lean more towards uh, RP value. And I know that's kind of a meme to a lot of people. I'm not an RPer myself at all, but all of us have known for the whole time that we've been playing World of Warcraft, years and years and years, Black Temple is just like. A legendary raid is it not it, it it really is so i would probably say illidan is my favorite boss in t6 just for the different phases of the fight the lore aspect you get medivh up there and everything so yeah i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with illidan okay well i just messed up the fucking camera somehow and i don't know how to get back to it because i don't know how to use youtube i don't know how to do this Man, I just woke up, but I'm not that ugly. Why do you keep yeah. taking my face? <laughs> I don't know why it's even doing this, bro. I shouldn't be doing this. I don't know how to get no, your no, shit it, back, bro. It's okay. I get it. Fine. Fucking weird, bro. Does that work? I fucking hate this thing sometimes, bro. Jesus Christ, sometimes. Okay, anyway. Um, I'm agree with you and say Ilden is my favorite, too, because he drops all the loot. <laughs> but all I really care about, guys, you know? So a couple questions I want to ask both of you guys because we're we get asked, I get asked this a lot. I stream six days a week and I get asked this all the time and I have my own personal things about this. But I want to see what you guys, because especially coming from your guild progress, is um, what do you guys think about fire versus shadow right now? If, assuming you have a fire mage, obviously. So assuming assuming all four warlocks are are made that fire swap versus all warlocks. You know, give let's go four warlocks. I think it depends on the environment um, and on the gear. Um, I think in a speedrun environment you won't see fire being used, but uh, in, a, in a like more casual environment where you take your time and shit, I think you may maybe do. Uh, yeah, I, I I agree. I think in a casual environment where your guild is like, hey, uh, you know, I don't have a 99 on this boss. Let's all take a second, wait for cooldowns. I I, I want to parse on this boss, whatever. Fire's pretty good. I, obviously, it lacks whenever you want to do seed and you're not AOE capped. Um, but it, it is pretty good. It edges out Overshadow a little bit, but I totally agree with Chairlock. It's not so much better than Shadow that you have to force it. You you want to force a mage to go fire. You want to force it upon your raid and say, wait, wait, wait. I need to sacrifice my imp after doing uh, after doing Cedar Corruptions, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's just not quite good enough. So you're probably going to see most Warlocks just stick with Shadow since the margin between fire and Shadow isn't that large. I mean, for us, uh, playing Fire in Tier 5 on certain bosses uh, in our world record speedrun in SSC was also because we had to make some damage checks, right? For example, skipping the last Murloc Wave on uh, Morrowgrim, for example, right? And um, that's one of the reasons we used to, to play uh, Fire there, because we needed more single target DPS and uh, it wasn't such a big loss to play uh, Fire. Uh, especially considering to uh, to the mobs in front of uh, FLK, which had a fire debuff aura as well, right? So you could make use of that. But there's nothing like that really in tier 6, especially not in, in uh, Black Temple, where you really need to skip a mechanic uh, that blocks you otherwise, right? I think fire... Yeah, I think fire won't be uh, that, that, uh, that highly regarded this time. I said the same thing to everybody. I just wanted to see you. Hopefully I was right. And you guys said the exact same thing, which means I'm not retarded. Thank you. What about <laughs> next one? Ready? Spicy. Zardoom over TOC combo. What do you think, Bose? Live. Uh, Chair, you go first. Uh, since it uh, seems like I am on the <laughs> Tempest duty in, uh, in progress, because I got the offense from uh, the first boss, I think that... Uh, I mean, Zardoom is obviously better, but it's going to be worse than Sunwell, if I'm not completely yeah. wrong. Um, for seeding, when you have a seed set, for example, or seeding in general, Zardoom is better because of the haste, right? But 
I think the differences are so minor that I think you really shouldn't care. You should be happy for whatever your guild gets and whatever you get. It's a pretty small difference overall. Well, to kind of piggyback off of what you said, not only is it better because haste is good for seed, um, but on top of that, the large majority of the time you're seeding, you're facing non-boss level mobs, level 71, 72, whatever, mm -hmm. where you don't need the hit from the main hand offhand mm -hmm. anyway because it, it just doesn't effectively do anything. So definitely mm -hmm. Zardoom in that scenario. Um, and if you do have main hand offhand, you could swap to like Blaze, Blade of Wizardry and uh, Fathomstone or something like that. Uh, but I would agree pretty much with everything that you said otherwise. Obviously, Zardoom is a little bit better, but it's not going to be leaps and bounds better than the main hand offhand. It's just going to be um, marginally better. And if you're willing to take that marginal DPS decrease, you're going to have a much, much, much better time acquiring loot properly going into Sunwell. Okay. Because yep. you're not going to be stuck in this position where you have Zardoom and you get an offhand. And then you're like, oh, I can't really use the offhand because my main hand is crap. So you tell your loot counselor or your officers or whatever type of guild loot system you have, like, oh, I also need a main hand. So not only did you just get an offhand that everyone else in the guild wants, now I also need a main hand. Just kind of makes you look bad. Hey, real quick, I'm going to ask two things real quick. First off, what is this in the middle? Because I'm going to get asked about this a lot. What is that you're using right here? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, it's just item rick for different sets. You can pull it down. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. So, thank you. Yeah. Second off, before yeah. I'm pausing it because we're going to go over the bosses right here. And this is winter chill. Um, I agree with you on the weapons. What I will say is um, I think we have like five months till Sunwell. This is what I was saying too. You're talking about when you get hard to pit in Sunwell, right? Or something like that. Or backwards if you yeah. get like the main hand. The only thing I can yeah. think of is I don't think that matters. This, this is my argument for it because you have five months to get a fucking another blade. Whether that's a TOC, whether that is a fucking <laughs> season blade, whether that is a ZA haste blade that drops in ZA member. There's a shittier, like, badge blade that drops with the aisle that comes out. I think you have other replacements to get by the time. By the and that's five months. I'm the speculation first off. But that's five months until Sunwell, let alone when you get heart. You know what I mean? And when you get to that stage, you get heart. I could be a while till you get heart. Right? So. No. Yeah. So, that's what my thing is. But I, I do agree with you guys on both sides. I just want to say, if you do get Zardium like me, don't fucking worry. You have, four, you have plenty of time to get. I, I also PvP. So I can, maybe that's why I'm like not really worried about it because I'll have a PvP blade. But you, you got five months to get a blade, ZA blade, anything. So don't stress if you do have Zardum. Yeah. ZA will help, you know, uh, round off your hit rating, what you need to drop, what you need to pick up pretty well. All right, Chairlock, you're going to be doing this. You're going to be carrying right now. We're going on a winter chill. You're kind of like, once again, this is a progress lock, world first. He knows what the fuck he's doing. Been a big fan of him for a long time. We've been homies for a little bit. I want your thought process. Your, like your thought process is going into this, right? And then obviously if Alive and I have anything to add, we'll add, but I'm pretty sure you'll hit all the points. It's kind of like as we go from the fight. Oh, I mean, the only thing you really have to make a decision about in this fight is whether you use a mana pot or destruction potion. <laughs> I think it's kind of a, a bet if uh, death and decay lands on you, then you can uh, use Destro pot because you can use the time to tap. But otherwise the boss is pretty straightforward, right? You just doom if you're on doom duty. And uh, you just pump, right? And, what are you uh, thinking about PvP Trinket versus like a lap or something? Uh, I don't know. We don't use any any of this of that. Uh, we thought about using it for the world first race, but we decided against it because the DPS gain uh, or the DPS loss is pretty pretty substantial. And the healers are quick enough with uh, the heals. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I I wouldn't use it personally. I think uh, you just rely on the RNG. Yeah, we also don't use them, and it's a quick. I see, you guys know who's well, who's gonna get it because you see the marker or whatever. The priest puts the power yeah. shield up while the other healer spams a heal on him right away, and you guys are good. Yeah, right. Yeah, I I don't know. I I don't like using PVP trinket on this boss. On private, we always use PVP trinket. Yeah. Um, because the damage was much higher as well, if I recall correctly. Um, but but yeah, I I wouldn't suggest using yeah, it. Yeah, because you would die if you didn't use PVP trinket. Pretty much, remember that. Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. Well, it's easy. <laughs> Anything else alive you want to add? Uh, no, I mean, it's pretty much a patchwork fight other than do you wear PvP trinket or not. Yeah, I'm kind of cheeky and I go like when when he pulls from up here. I don't know if this is the move, bro, but I've been trying to work on a little positioning lately. So he pulls from up here. I'll like already be kind of where that boomkin is and already casting. 
Like I'm already putting up a doom and corruptions up, and then I'll put a bolt, and then I'll sh jump down and I'll shatter burn in my position, and then I start. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you, uh, I mean, uh, if you if you go into parse brain mode, I think you you should absolutely do that. But uh, I mean, this is a yeah. chill spit run, and uh, we don't really care about parsing and progress, right? We just oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It. I'm just throwing uh, that in there because that's what uh, people will be asking. I'm yeah, just not thinking yeah, anything. Yeah. I mean, do you should do it probably, but uh, I, I I prefer not taking aggro from the boss and oh, yeah. uh, tanks not yelling at me. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Better and, safe than um, sorry is what we say here, boys. Yeah, I think one one thing that also needs to be considered here is if you can get a second Doom off, because I think in this fight and in, in this exact fight, I think I couldn't have. Uh, so I made the right decision to use Agony after the second, uh, after the first Doom. But I think in some guilds you can probably get a second Doom off. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's something that we've mentioned pretty consistently throughout all of the episodes we've done on Lock Talk, and that is, if if possible try to record your VODs and look at the boss fights. If you care about doing well on bosses at all, if you care about parsing at all, as a warlock in particular, it's really, really important that you go back and watch your boss fights to oh. see how many dooms you can fit in, what, yeah. your, what your kill window looks like, where you can fit in and micromanage globals during movement, if you popped your trinket accordingly, because let's say a lot of underexperienced players They'll pop their trinket, let's say, six seconds before a mechanic goes out that uh, stops them from hard casting on the boss. And a lot mm. of people make mistakes like that. So, again, yeah. we're going to say it in this episode as well. Please, if you want to improve as a player and especially as a warlock, try to record your VODs and watch them back at least one time a week before you go into the raid next week. And it will help a lot. Oh, for sure. drop, time drop. Oh, you got this one you got, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and just, I got to, it. just to, uh, I know this, I say this a lot too, but I think it will help other people hearing it as well. Um, you kept agony up after, if you can't put a doom up, you're keeping agony up, right? If you, if you get full value of it. Uh, I think you shouldn't keep it up if, it, if it's not going to get the full duration, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other than that, so uh, I, I actually, as we uh, as we watched that, I saw that I used the doom, and then I was like, mm, no, it's probably not gonna take, so I swapped to agony, right? That's what I did in that fight, which was probably in that moment uh, the correct decision. Um, that's a good idea. I want to talk about two trinkets right now. First off, you guys know about Darkman Trinket and it not working, right? You guys heard about that. I know you guys did. I went and got a trinket hoping yeah. it would work, and sadly it doesn't because that was honestly some of the most fun on private servers I had playing a warlock was trying to keep that trinket up. Damn, was it just a winner show? Oh, duh. Okay. I don't know. Um, some someone in our guild had a good argument that the trinket itself isn't really that insane. Um, because it's compared to the other trinkets you can get in tier six and uh, the best trinket. It's pretty it's much only, the same, simming DPS. Yeah, it's the same, and then you also have the risk of it, uh, like, falling, right? Uh, between trash mobs and uh, in, in a certain boss scenario, for example, on Illidan, for example, it would 100% drop uh, on, yeah. in the, on the phase transition, right? And uh, it was considered this for on, on private for everyone, because uh, you could stack it up with Hellfire and uh, Hellfire, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I wouldn't even have used it on, on live here. I was, uh, um, personally, I don't have Mark of the Champion. If you so, what I what I tell people is, if you have Mark of the Champion, that's based on almost most of these fights. All of all of Mount Hyjal and ha more than half the Black Temple. If there's Undead and Demons, if, if you don't have it or you do have it, it's Skull. And I still think DMF is still good on some fights. On fights where you can stand still and pump, like we just did yeah, first yeah, four yeah. fights, I think it's best. Unless obviously yeah. you get Ice Bolt, your parse is fucked anyway at that point, right? And then if you, what's it, Anatheron, Carrion Swarm, if you use the, 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 the what are those called, the Slammers, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Anatheron, you, I mean, uh, Azrigal, you're fine. Kazrigal, you're fine. Unless you get doomed, then you're fucked on Azrigal anyway. So I think those four bosses, if you don't have Mark, you can get, a, I, I'm going to use it tonight on it. 100% value. As long as you, any fight that you, almost like any fight you would use a Quags on, I think. Any fight where you can get 100% value, it's not dropping one time. It's nice. And before anybody yeah. asks, Trash, I feel like it's good as well. Because you can, one seed blows up, it's pretty much stacks it up all the way, right? But the thing is, if you're AOE cap, I mean, who cares? It's 80 spell power, right? That'd be good once, like, you fall under AOE cap in that exact pack, but at that point, what, you know what I mean? So if you're spamming AOE, I get asked this all the time for some reason. If you're spamming AOE, I wouldn't really use that trinket. There's other better trinkets yeah. you can use. But if it's, like, no. a seed pack with, like, four or something, you know, like KT add rooms or something like that, then, yeah, you can because value out of it. But I, I think at that oh. point, even Sextant or... You know what I mean? Something would be better. Yeah. I mean, ideally, you swap around your trinkets all the time and anyway, depending yeah. on the global code on and shit, right? Okay. Um, he only sent us one or two, so, but the other ones are easy, so there's nothing. I feel like we don't have to go too far on each of these bosses because there's not. 
because i feel like literally the first two bosses are the same thing we're even in the same position at this point right you're standing still and pumping moving out of death and decay also in this one we're moving out of whatever we need to move out of carrion storm don't get hit by it i don't like I can, can you guys add anything to this slammers i mean yeah, slammers, slammer, are huge, are slammers is well. um and i haven't used those before still so i'm gonna get them today but how, do you have to spam it or do you, can you just use one or? i just i just look at the dbm cooldown of the ability and then when it's about to come up uh, i just spam it yeah until i see the sleep animation going out on someone is it macroed into something or are you using macroed into like shadow bolt or something no i just uh, click it straight from the inventory mate like a chat <laughs> is no no global or anything on it uh said, there, like the like the like the normal like when you when you click on a on a drink right that yeah, yeah. type of cooldown like a global okay. cooldown yeah somewhere in some way chairs like i could optimize it but that's too much effort i'm just gonna <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, not, not for hydral man if this was like black temple in terms of speech running and shit i would but uh, not I, sure. not sure. I feel like hydral is if you guys think hydral is bad us private server players hate it even more uh -oh. i think because mm -hmm. it was yeah i mean hydro was was what's much worse than private right it was yeah. like two to three times as long you guys ever dot up the, uh, dagony up the infernals uh, to me i kind of just no. trying to fucking blast bro i just like uh, uh, yeah. dude my uh, mind changes as i'm blasting if i like right now if a doom goes off and my <laughs> and my my bolts are just fucking hard i'm not even gonna agony bro i don't want to break that chain right. i feel like i'll break the momentum <laughs> i feel like <laughs> the only bro. the only time i would dot the uh the infernal is i would put a corruption on it if i was the aflock specifically and that's it yeah agony if you're moving in i guess if you're like if you got targeted by it and you're running it to the spot right i mean does the damage towards the infernal it. does the damage Ooh. towards the infernal even come to your powers if you right. care i didn't think about Ooh. that yeah does it? yeah that's a good i mean point. i could see it not not being right because if it them. if it doesn't then i wouldn't but if it does for an F-Lock, it's really not that bad because your corruption's already yeah, yeah. really strong yeah, and then you yeah. can fish for more Nightfall. Yeah. But I wouldn't I wouldn't do full dots, for sure. Just just a corruption, if it counts. All right. Um, we're not going to talk about waves in the pack. I guess we can talk about... Do I, do I have a trash back here? We can go over trash while we talk about... Um, I think... We... <laughs> Spamming cursed elements, all your warlocks are spamming cursed elements and all these trash packs. It's going to be way more damage than if you guys are sitting, or it's going to be overall more damage than if you're sitting there spamming agonies on these trash packs. I, that's how I feel. Soft. Um, yeah, I agree, but you shouldn't do uh, elements on ghouls and shit. It's not worth. Uh, sorry, um, curse of elements on, on ghouls. Okay. That's okay. not worth. Okay. They just, they just, it's just not worth the global. Yeah, cool. They cool. Don't, only only elements the mobs yeah. that actually yeah, yeah. take multiple hits mm -hmm. before they die. We yeah. even considered not using curse of elements at all, but uh, then we came to the conclusion it's that worse, we just though. do it on the on the yeah. big HP mobs, right? Okay, that's a good call. Yeah, I just I I grab I go to the back and I tab out through the back, and the warlocks the other ones tab out through the front, and we just fucking spam it. Like right here, I don't do it now because I'm being cheeky on prog, but right here I just fucking will start curse elementing in the corner, you know. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, we don't use arcane bombs or sappers as a warlocks, really, because I'm kind of out of the way. I can't really think of any trash. Mm. Typical trash shit, guys. Trinkets. I mean, wise, you should, uh, you 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 should have, do nade tapping, right? If you care. If you have a, if you have your option of trinkets, what trinkets are you guys running? Just typical seeding trinkets. So All of them. So people, yeah, yeah. We're people. Are, yeah, yeah. I'm going quags and alternating the other one off when it's off. Obviously, ICD with other stuff. Other stuff. I mean, I don't have sex, and I wish I had sex, but I yeah. don't. How do you guys? I, like, I, 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 I would say. Yeah. I would say Quag Sexton if if you have it. So how do you feel about yeah. lightning capacitor? It does not go it one point five to four percent of your damage depending on the wave. I tried it on PTR and uh, it was ass. like, yeah. It feels it like ass, really bro. Feel it still feels like yeah, ass. I used it, it all it, raid it, last week uh, and it was like, it was weird. It was like one point five percent of your damage on the small in like the first yeah. half of the waves and then. The back waves it got a little chunky, three percent, four percent, but it just didn't feel like lightning cap. We're talking about lightning cap. Yeah, I love Nexus Horn. I use that only because I like once again that's all I really have. But well, on on packs like that, there where the ghouls instantly die, you're immediately going down to like half the pack size, and the lightning capacitor loses a lot of potential Ooh, value. Good call. I feel like those backpacks when you start getting the infernals and the ghouls because they're getting kited. No, because they die pretty fast too. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, man. Uh, people keep coming to my chat to swearing up and down by it, and but I'm just not a. Uh... Capacitor is only really valuable if you're at AOE cap and the mobs actually live through multiple seeds. Like pirate service ship. 
and yeah and even then it's not like a broken trinket by any means that's just when it's valuable i wish i had crit on it or something though like just even like 10 percent 10 crit on it something would be nice oh what well, dude wait no no i'm tripping i'm tripping my bad my bad i got overly excited um that ash ton trinket for affliction is what i wanted to ask about you know what i'm talking about uh, yeah, the twenty percent chance. Yeah, do you on think that's just, spell I get asked this a lot, and uh, do you think that would be ever worth it for? Uh, what do you guys think about that for affliction? Uh, so I simmed it out um, mm -hmm. when I was simming for demo and all different specs, and it wasn't bad, but it wasn't significantly better than our other options as well. Obviously, not going to be better than Mark on a boss where Mark is relevant. It's not going to be better than Skull of Gul'dan. But if you don't have either one of those, it's really not that bad of a trinket, but it's not bis either. I would say for Af that if there's any if there's any like two or three target encounters, that it is a pretty reasonable trinket to use, especially if you don't have skull. But outside of that, it's it's not gonna be a super sought after trinket to chase okay, uh, no. after you get exalted. I uh I don't know. I was this feeling craft for this, and I feel like this would be broken for affliction because there's no ICD on this, and it's twenty percent proc chance. They can just proc, 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 yeah. proc. I mean, you like can you always said, get council lucky. or something. Yeah, it would be nice. Council, obviously, big dick, but like single target, straight single target pump. That's where I was asking because I feel like I don't know, right? It, no, there's no stats on it. I feel like anything where you're multi dying at all would be really nice, like super nice, right? But how much? Well, for, how often is that? Like really? Uh, on on council it would be really nice of course because n not only do you have a higher percent uptime but it enables you to snapshot more so mm -hmm. like let's say you get a proc you can just refresh on all the council members and really you know utilize the trinket to its fullest but yeah like you said on just a pure single target fight any sort of patchwork type scenario it is not terrible but very mediocre yeah, unless I'm you get insanely lucky and uh yeah i would probably I, I can't think of anywhere i mean maybe like you can get real cheeky if you wore it all no i wouldn't wear it all for fate for little dennis to say phase two but i don't know if it'd be worth that access drink it being like tested in live environment yeah it's uh it's live it's confirmed uh -huh. they're all about it just like the mage drink the mage I has mean, who the fuck is it already the mage one is uh broken as well icd a ptr i think they tested it. everybody tested it on when either that, or actually, you know what? Either that, or they're going off of the fact that the mage trinket ash is also off ice. Oh, okay. That could be it too, or comments. Actually, we can look. But the mage one is uh, off ICD, so I think that's what there are. Well, on average, trinket gain one corruption, sixty-seven spell power to. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so one corruption. Yeah, single target less. That makes sense. Less than the other trinkets, like like live said. As soon as you open up the two two targets. No. There you go. Yeah, live didn't even know that. Fucking. Seeing if anything else pops up. Oh, look at this! Look at this comment. I'm a Destro Warlock. I'm fairly disappointed. Yeah, me too, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking me too. <laughs> because it's always crazy to go back and read the old comments. Like, oh, there's so much Imagine, stuff there. I feel like if this was an agony, it'd be cool. I feel like maybe then we'd be like, oh, agony. Oh. I'll just make it any damage over time effect. Yeah. This guy was in the future. This guy was in 2022 with this one in 2008. Jesus. Uh, yeah, okay, that's it. I just want to ask about those trinkets. Carry on. Oh, wait, that's it. Next boss. Any other, uh, yeah, chat, ask whatever questions you want, all right, my friends? Um, we're going to skip over to the next boss. You guys can just chime in, whatever. Uh, are you not engineering, by the way? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I am, bro. You know, that's mandatory. Why am I forgetting well, something? Uh, no, are you nade tapping between life Nade tops? tapping? No, I'm nade not. Tapping. I have no clue what the tapping. fuck that is. So you when... just, uh, yeah, tell yeah. You have a macro that uses uh, a Dementite grenade between the global cooldown after you life tap and between the next global cooldown yeah. becoming available. Has nobody in my guild told me about this? Well, Chris, I thought you knew that, man. Is that a cl oh, <laughs> That sounds like 100% classic thing, and I didn't play classic. That's yeah, nade doesn't take global, so what is it? you can nade, do... What is it? Adamantine? I'm writing it on my post-it note right the fuck now to get this afterwards. You can do it in Wrath also with Serenite Bombs. Oh, that's what, that's why they're good. Adamantite Serenite Bombs grenades? don't do huge right? damage, but it's free. Cool. But that with a yeah, that's so much swapping I do. Oh, I don't gotta use Blade of Wizardry no more. So I don't have to do all those fucking Oh my god, bro. You can't see. I don't think I had it. I have like three different binds for seed of corruption for Blade of Wizardry. And when that's on cooldown for my crit blade, when that's on then when I actually feel like seeding with my main hand. And then two different taps and then two different it was so annoying and now I don't have to do it anymore. Because of fucking doom. Also on my post note to do today, just because I want to see how you guys feel about this. I'm engineering. I'm gonna swap engineering. The tailoring just to make the fucking mantle and then swap back to engineering 
Mm. Seed, baby. Seed set. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I got to farm I'm, pants because I don't have oblivion pants, but. It's it's definitely good to do if you're an, an oil prince. Yeah. An oil prince <laughs> engineering costs like 2K. It's so cheap right now. Yeah, it's really cheap. I agree. It's really cheap. But the problem is tailoring, getting tailoring of which I don't think would be that expensive because no one, no one's, who gives a fuck about tailoring right now, right? Until Sunwell. True. Yeah. Yeah, at least it's not leveling. Well, it's costing enchanting. 2k for yeah, it costs 2k for but well, I guess it's server dependent right there, says. But yeah, you're right. That's what someone told me. It's pretty cheap. Is that Af Bis same as Destro? I would say yes. I would say no on the cloak and you for cloak. Maybe go Nether Void, but I don't really know how you guys feel about that. Or I probably still go crit cloak off of Illidan if I I don't know or Council. I mean, but I feel like yeah, because you're still swimming Shadow Bolt, so you're more or less putting up corruption siphon on ISB. I probably wouldn't even emulate this for the, this point in the game. With T once you get T six, I wouldn't even emulate as I mean uh, emulate as affliction. Oh, oh my yeah. god, that, dude, hold on. Wait, go back in your VOD 10 seconds. That's the most tragic doom timing. Oh, oh, I know. Go back. Look, look. Oh, oh. I've had one literally like, I feel like, I feel like it blew up at like the second it hit zero. That is unfortunate, man. Mm. We didn't talk about this boss. What was this boss? Casual. Don't go. Oh, <laughs> just live tap. Yeah, there's nothing to even talk about there. Just live tap. Yeah. Stay above yeah. 3,000. Don't use this report. What bomb? Uh, Adamantine grenades. I believe I'll put them up for you right now. Uh, you can use fell iron bomb as well, but Adamantite grenade is uh, you are able to do it while moving, right? So when you go into the next position while you tap, it's it's much better than uh, fell iron bomb. There you go, gentlemen. Inflicts 450, 750 fire damage and capacitates targets. Uh, well, another good thing about this is I don't know what the spec. Oh, we can talk about this as well. A spec. We can talk about it a little later. Actually, I'm talking about now. What, what spec are you running? This is a spec that I'm running, and I kind of feel like, unless you're tanking, it's the move. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Oh uh, yeah, that's exactly what we play in progress right yeah. now. I think that I've been telling most warlocks that I feel like every warlock, not every warlock, because there are situations Destro warlock wise. I feel like if you are not tanking Illidan, that you should be the spec. I don't. And yeah. what further on this? How do you feel about the with the emulate conversation? <sighs> Will you run the emo build and keep emulate up? That, uh, no, I, you know I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. So no surprise. I'm neither. Even from a parsing aspect, like let you could do Sims, right? And let's say that even without a fire mage in your group, keeping emulate up is. I don't know, 10 more DPS, hypothetically speaking. Yeah. Even then, yeah. it might be 10 more DPS on the long run, but if you, if all you care about is parsing, it will lower your potential damage ceiling. Because yes, it averages out to be good damage, but you could potentially get massive crits with Shadow Bolt, get lucky, and you're, you're going to parse better. So it is okay to do, but it's, it's not going to make or break your progression. <laughs> It's probably going to end up being slightly worse for your potential chance to parse. It's it's really just not that necessary at all. I think with uh, I think uh, it's not worth it at all, and I don't think anybody should run it. I've been saying this for a while. No, I think you have to factor in a bit of human error that you are not always going to keep your emulator up one hundred percent. Plus, just looking at the talents you pick up, like having soul leech nether ward those are just really really valuable talents anytime they come into play actually w one point i'm i spent different than you creeks is i have uh improved searing pain or whatever the talent is called because i sometimes find myself like using searing pain when i know i can't get a shadow bolt off and mm -hmm. uh i i don't need to tap or something like that mm -hmm. when you say that do the same thing, yeah. what do you do oh you yeah. mean instead of the one here yeah yeah, I put one here. That, well, I used to before Nether Protection run all of that because fire damage on sappers. Because I actually sappered a lot mm -hmm. in D five, and that's what made me think about spec was the fire on the adamantine grenades. And then, but then I remember where, like I like the Nether Protection. If yeah. you're right, tanking, I'd probably just put that into either. Yeah, so you're in pain for more threat on the tank anyway. I feel like you shouldn't have tank issues, but I do the same thing. If I can't get a searing pain of Shadow Bolt off, but I know that I can get like a burn and like a global or something, I'll searing pain. And burn. I mean, ideally, you always tap right. Because the tab is always the most value if you are in doom, uh, if you are room or are not fully topped. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I find myself often casting searing pain, so I think it's kind of good. And I, I kind of even in classic TBC and in general, I feel like looking at an overall raid log and seeing how many times someone casts searing pain, that's kind of indicative of their experience as a warlock because a lot of new warlock players. They'll just cast Shadow Bolt, and if they can't fit yeah. in another Shadow Bolt, they just stop casting. 
But no. if there's no other mob to target, or let's say you're on a boss and like Lurker, and Lurker's submerging in 2.1 seconds, then you can easily fit in a Searing Pain and a Shadow Burn, fit in extra damage that you would have otherwise not gotten. So I feel like that's a sneaky way to tell if you're actually a good Warlock or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why I got you guys on the show, man. We know what the fuck we talk about. All right. Ready? What's the next boss? Feel free to chime in anything you guys. Chat questions whenever you need it, boys. We're going to the next boss, which is Casserole. And the only this is actually the only I would say don't fuck your group and be 30 plus yards for rain and uh maybe get the sciencing neck and that's it. Yeah, exactly. I got science the silent snake. Yeah, Pretty the, good. the science neck is huge because we're a, you're able to 99 this without that. You just need to make sure you guys... As long as you guys don't fuck up rain fire, you'll get a good parse here. As long as you're geared and pressing I've, Shadow Bolt, right? I, uh, I think this is also the best boss where you can use your Infernal on. Because it uh, silences you and the Infernal still keeps hitting, right? So if you want to use Infernal, probably this boss. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Because you, you keep your DS buff anyway, right? So it's just a bunch yeah, of extra damage, yeah. huh? Uh, the, the, the Infernal <laughs> is really, really bad compared to private servers. Um, it only does like 20k damage, but I mean, uh, it's free, free real estate, right? So, Bro, if we're fucking throwing grenades and taps and all that shit, bro, you're kidding me. Yeah, you might as well use your Infernal and hide, bro. <laughs> and you can also use it on Supremus, gold for way. one spell power and one stamina gym upgrades, bro, I will fucking spin an Infernal on it. And also, just for the oh, record, there's summoned, been... Wait, summoned wait. Infernal and lost a DS buff, nah, someone said. Nah. Oh. No, uh, no, it is. It doesn't count you as shouldn't. a pet. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah. You well, no, no, not even that. But you can banish and enslave and everything, and still keep DS buffs usually, right? Yeah. I don't know if that's yes. the same thing. Yeah, It'd probably run out at the same time. Maybe just on luck. Okay. Yeah, but still, just for the record, there's so many raids uh, throughout World of Warcraft that are tech. They they look like they're outside, mm -hmm. but you can't summon Infernal because it says, "Oh, you're inside. You mm -hmm. you can't summon that inside." The yeah. fact that we can finally use an infernal in raid, I mean you just you just got to. The, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course it's a small DPS increase, but just just for the fact that you can use it finally in a raid. Well, I mean they're here. You, the people who watch this have been asking for this are here for those that kind of tips, right? That's what they're here for. They want to know that they know to spam Shadow Bolt and get max range. So we're trying to milk any that's why we don't do a bunch of episodes, because it's like it, at the end of the day, it's spam shadow bolts and seed and don't pull aggro. But that little stuff like you're adding is perfect. So don't be afraid to add any little bit of knowledge in there, any nuggets of wisdom. Imagine if you could being a brand new player or you're parsing 80 trying to get up there. You know what I mean? That's what we're trying to help with, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the next drop last night, I didn't get it. Our fucking... Oh, Slater did actually. Big Pumper Slater. That's my favorite Warlock in the guild besides myself. Um, Wait, Chairlock. So are you telling me in progress you guys don't stop the speed run and summon a Doom Guard? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a bad strat to me, man. Uh, I hope we never speed run Hygel. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I don't even want to talk but, about uh, speed running. Uh, I, I, some, someone in our guild linked the speed running today in, uh, in Discord where they started speed running Hygel, but it was kind of mean, yeah. I think. Gems should have just instantly deleted it. Yeah, hope, hopefully he did. Um, I brought this up in the pre, pre six t uh, the pre t six drop. Can you talk about shadow res for this boss? I'm sure no shadow res and higher. Yeah, I don't wear any shadow res. I don't think you have to. I think healers. Maybe if you want. Oh, we're not talking about healers. I think no, you don't need to. So I wouldn't at all. <sighs> it's just RNG, right? It's yeah. like a dice roll. Uh, I don't. I don't like uh, relying on RNG too much in mm -hmm. such scenarios. Um, I just said I don't. I don't want to use it. I, I at most I would use that neck. Yeah, the neck is insane. It chases a whole second, I think, right? Yeah, twenty sec and twenty percent yeah. is big because, like I said, you can already get a nice clean ninety, you know, ninety eight plus on this fight without getting that resist on getting just getting your normal crit bolts that you want to do, right? But being allowing you to get that twenty percent is huge. And then, like like he said, the infernal, some small things like that, bro. I'm telling you, that's the difference of one fucking number on your where one percent it could be on your uh, ours. I still think some SR is good. Uh, I ran SR net cape. Racers uh, resisted 75% of them. Damn, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say it's a bad idea, but I'm not going to do that. I'm personally just going to full fucking blast and just hope for the best, which has worked out so far. But yeah, you never know. At the end of the day, you can wear all no all the SR you want and then get doomed, bro. You know what I mean? Archie, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I guess do we need to talk about this cheese, bro. Does this just like invalidate everything? It's got fixed, bro. Oh, it did? Yeah, pretty okay. sure. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm glad it did. I did not like that. I did not like it, brother. I thought, what did they do about the parses people got from it? They say anything? I don't know. Are, are the parses that much higher than the? Yeah, you can just stand regularly? still and not do anything. Yeah, you don't get you don't you don't yeah, get but, any but, mechanics but, except for a knockout. Yeah, but I think if you get a good kill, 
playing it properly and you get good RNG on the on the knockups, I think your pass will probably be higher because Ooh, you don't call. get mocks, right? Yeah, it's a good call, yeah. Okay. So I think the top the top top pars is probably still gonna be a regular kill, even okay, if they cool. don't ban it. Okay. But it should I'm be bad they to be took my hundred from me. But it makes sense. They moved it to a 97 because they took that percent, the last 10% damage or whatever. Yeah. Apparently, I was just pumping right there, I guess. I guess I just crit a lot at the end. Um, I guess I would say there's a lot of things to do here. I'll let you guys talk. I talk all the time. Go ahead. I think uh, something something that I find myself doing is like often when I know there's a fear coming and I see the anima animation and I know I can't get my cast off, I cancel cast and do a life tap. You know, something like that. I think mm -hmm. that's probably as, as deep as you can go into this fight and obviously just just dodge right the flames and uh, don't fuck up your cooldown usage when the fear is coming up mm -hmm. i would i would agree to that um and just to point out something that all the three of us know but maybe someone else doesn't know touching on searing pain again it's always going to be better if you don't have time to cast a shadow bolt to get a life tap in if the mana is usable however this boss fight isn't really that long of a boss fight so let's say that you run into one of the scenarios where you don't have enough time to cast a shadow bolt um so you're in the decision where you can either life tap or you can cast a searing pain well if you're at like 70 percent mana 60 percent mana and the boss is at 25 30 percent health you don't sure that life tap is more profitable in that small global window but you're going to go over the amount of mana that you're going to use to mm -hmm. finish the boss fight in the first place. So you want to squeeze in a Searing Pain instead. Which yep. sounds pretty basic, but there's a lot of Warlocks out there that just don't even have Searing Pain on the bar. If they're if they're not tanking that week, they just act like that spell doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's really important to get used to your kill timings and really feel the rate in which the boss is dying. Which, that's not something you can really teach someone. You need to just play warlock play the game do the raids week in week out and really feel the rate at which it dies and that'll also help you time your oh should i reapply doom again should i not especially if you're not going back and looking at your vods but even if you are look going back and looking at your vods this is another thing that you'll start to learn to pick up and squeezing in that extra searing pain in it, here and there could get you from a 98 to a 99 or potentially even 100. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. i said. agree I would say one thing big on here is obviously positioning and it, it's worth it's worth you trying to look for a situation because I'm not spread out I, like right now one thing you can know is air burst will fuck you up the most out of your parts on this right it's worth you stop casting right now I'm too close to him it's worth I just know that I know because I've done this fight that at some point he can get air bursted he might get air bursted and he'll say it and I have literally the second you see it to move back and I'll be fine okay it's like so fast though you guys have seen it right but in these situations it's not bad to stop casting and just move for a second if that's worth more fears coming up so i'm not worried about it but that's worth more than you getting there and an air burst coming up and fucking smacking you you know what i mean like don't be afraid to like don't i will sit there and pump and see that these healers I'll, if i can call i'm like yo what are you doing please move but you know they don't sometimes i will fucking all right i need to go over here because i'm already looking right now i don't know why i'm not doing it. i think i'm just kind of zugging right now but you should already be like okay this is a bad situation nothing is wrong with you getting a bolt off shadow burning to this spot right here or tapping to this spot right here this i'd probably burn over here to this spot yeah. and just making sure i'm in totem range if you can actually imagine being as i wouldn't say max range just in case the, something happens to the tank and this moves and he fucks you but like 32 three yards away from the boss out away from everybody so nobody comes comes to you then you don't have to worry about people running to you also you can look after like a couple boss kills on your guys you can kind of see people go to this people tend creatures a habit bro they'll go to the same spot if they can every time most likely because they're like, oh i did fine over here be that guy who looks for that one spot and then nobody goes to and sit at that spot and then you don't have to move and yep. what we've already brought up earlier as well if you did have to shadow burn and move remember this is also another time where you could be throwing that grenade so you're not really losing that much damage by moving can you burn the grenade uh you should be able to yeah yeah Good it, idea too. you can do it during those. any global is there a cast yeah i do it on curse of elements and agony as well is there a cast is like a, how long is the cast or he just it's... tosses that shit Oh no, it's cast, but it perfectly lines up with the global, so Ooh, I'm really nice, looking to it. Bro. I can't wait. I'm excited, bro. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know about that. I'm surprised no one in chat told me about that. That's so crazy. Yeah. You need to get like into the habit. I think not many people actually know and do this. Oh, I'm in, I'll be in habit right away, bro. You saw those binds for fucking keep. <laughs> I'm ready, bro. Yeah, anything that's been maxed, that's not changing shit, but add, I'll put a no cursor macro on that too, so I just throw that shit and don't even have the cursor, you know? <laughs> I think it's really expensive, right? Because on, on Fire Mall, I think 
at one point grenades were like 10 gold each up to tier 6 release yeah, but so, yeah. fireball economy has always been just a fiesta yeah. no. I remember back in classic a stack of solid stone was like 19 gold or something like that yeah all right, on to uh, Temple of the Black, bro. Um, are you guys doing anything different with trinkets on trash here? Since the trash is a little more... Okay, I'm going to say yes. If I had sex, then I'd be using sex in almost full time here. I love sex in. I love it. And I don't even have it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I I uh, didn't have sex up until yesterday. And uh, I used Quark and uh, like oh, the wait. unused crit and the Nexus horn. But uh, other than that... I think uh, mm -hmm. six on the way to go, yeah. Pull up your stuff, and we're gonna go with Nash. Starting with the, the this isn't the full split, by the way, because we kept uh, Mother up to trash farm. That's fine. I'll just go back and forth. How's the there. trash farm been going for you guys? Uh, Any luck? Yeah, we got a, a bunch of rings. Um, we had so one you, split. Uh, so you have we double were... rings now? Oh, I don't know, <laughs> because I was in a split that had a lot of odds. Um, and we really didn't get together a proper group because uh, the tanks were in, in the in the other groups, the main tanks. So I I did a bit of solo farming, like 14 hours of solo farming, but I didn't get uh, any ring sadly. But we got someone that got a ring solo farming or even two. My mind's blown that you have a Magus blade right now. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. But I got the PvP weapon, bro. Even the season two. No, no, I I I got a new weapon yesterday, so I don't have to. Calling him out. No, I just I I'm really my my warlock is cursed. Like I've been in an SSC like from the very first study, and I still don't have Vash rope. Have not seen a drop. I didn't see a Fang drop, and I didn't see Saxon drop up until yesterday. So yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen a Fang. Seen a bunch of Saxon. I haven't dropped it. I wouldn't feel bad about vestments. I think it's better to go T6 chest, connect it, and go leg and channel elements. There's more too. Don't have fear. Don't have no fear, brother. You'll be okay. You're a pumper. Who needs vestments, yeah. bro? <laughs> I don't like, like vestments. That's like the no, one right. item that my NA guild got so lucky on. We got it on all of our warlocks and our boomkin and our fire mage. And then we just started giving it to whoever. Just like shadow priest, you want it? Fine, take it. Elemental shaman, you want it? Fine, just take it. Um, What would you say is a good amount of death pots to have with you on raids? I bring like 50. 40, you don't need that much. I always have extra, but I what? have like 40. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> how do you use so many? <laughs> I don't use that many, but it's just I just overly do it. I, I think I bring 20 mana, 20 death reports, and always use like most of the mana pots, and like maybe 6 or 7 or 8 death reports, depending if I use them on trash or not. Oh, I'm Crick's preparing no. for a 9 hour raid. Yo, <laughs> potions are literally on cooldown from the minute I enter the raid, probably until I leave it. I mean, yeah, There's the some sort of potions on cooldown. I use a lot of potions. So 3 hour raid, 2 minute cooldown, do math. Obviously not every cooldown is going, but you know, you get it. Uh, we, we are clearing trash here, extra trash, by the way, because we are waiting for someone to uh, mm -hmm. get in because we had big queue times on Firemire recently. Okay, there you go. Boom. There you go. All right. First thing about Nash that you should uh, save. What is it? Biggest thing about it. Don't doom instantly. <laughs> there you go, boys. Agony first. So you make it with the title burst. I did this on Prague. I did it incorrectly. That's a big thing. That's huge. It's a free doom, right? Uh, I think uh, you probably shouldn't uh, do the mistake that I did here and use uh, Mana Potion. Actually, mm, I think you, maybe you shouldn't use Mana Potion on this fight. Because you can life tap when the shield comes up, right? Uh, after it blows mm. up. I wouldn't go before, right? Because of the title burst. Unless they're like spam healing you. I mean, you can combo it with a health potion if you want to be greedy. True, yeah. True. Uh, with a, a health stone. Well, I wouldn't sorry. use a health potion. Oh, yeah, yeah, health stone, yeah. Yeah, health stone. That's true. I use Mana Potions here. Just because it's just, I know I can get a value out of it, but I'm thinking about using dark, I mean, destruction on all week. This is one of those fights also with Dark Moon I thought about using, but I want to see that I'll use, I'm timing it right now. I want to know if it's, if it would drop in between this title burst, which I'd be scared that it might. Look at that, bro. That was probably oh. no, no, uh, splits as well. See, I don't want to risk it because I feel like if I'm going to, I'm not going to this week and I'm going to see how fast we kill it because I feel like if you kill title burst, if that title burst waits long, then your drop, your train is dropped. You're not doing it, and, and I don't think if you do immune damage, it stacks trinket. I haven't tested that, but it shouldn't do yeah. immune. It shouldn't off immune damage. And another question here is if, uh, if you can get two dooms off. I think uh, light it on the line, you won't probably be able to. I mean, at this point, I can't even get off two dooms mm -hmm. and the splits. Yeah. It's agony doom, agony. Yeah, that's agony. You would you would have to have a really yeah. slow yeah. killing raid. Yeah, I think we got two dooms off in the wait was it in the, in the world first race. I don't know. I think I didn't. 
Um, well, close because yeah. you got two agonies off at 24 seconds each, and then yeah, I mean, you, might, you guys might be pumping mm -hmm. now though. I don't know. Um, any rules? I mean, the, we don't have the highest rate DPS here because it's all alts on this right. Oh, it's no big deal. Um, any rule of thumb for Sexton over TLC? I keep hearing TLC is usually better. TLC is, in my opinion, almost never better than Sexton. We talked about it earlier. Unless you're Mount Hydro trash, and even then it doesn't feel worth it, kind of. It's on the first half of the waves, it's like a it's like almost, I would say, average 2% of your damage. And then the last half of the waves, it can get up to like 3.5% 3, 3 of it. But like, well, I've said, if it's the ghoul pack, like, yeah, it's nice, but then the ghouls die rather fast or whatever dies fast. And then you're just lightning off the internals or whatever else. So I kind of wouldn't, you know. The, the times where it's at its best, which is still nothing to go crazy over, is when you're AoE capped and the mobs that are forcing you to be AoE capped live through multiple seeds. Like five, six, seven, eight plus seeds. Then it's at its best. But anything under that, it's really not that great of a trinket. Okay. Um, go ahead, Vector. I think I'd die here on Supremus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no. I got. Uh, a good, I, got I, a good I think it's really fucking unlucky. I think that. I think that was one of the only times where I really say I couldn't have done anything on this fight. I have a. I'm being greedy as shit here, so this is gonna be a good one. Good parse too. I think. Find it. I'm tripping and I died. We'll see. I think I had two volcanoes spawn right, like, to the left and right of me, and they just fucking instigate me. Um, Supremus, this is a fun fight. This is a, one of my fun, this is one of the, it's an annoying fight, but it's like a fun fight. I think it is, because there's a lot of movement and stuff. I wish there was more yeah. to do. Another boss where you can use Infernal on, by the way. Ooh, Infernal here, boys. First big tip from Chairlock. What else you got here, bud? Live on Channel 4 News. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I really don't like playing this boss anymore because I, I always get really fucked with uh, the volcanoes. I mean, you can use death reports, of course, right? You should use death reports because you can tap on the on the kite phase, use infernal, uh, try to be in range of your elemental or boomkin if you have one. I think that's a pretty big factor of the fight is that the groups tend to like really, really spread. And then you stand there without the boomkin and without the totem aura. So you need to make sure that you are and the uh, and the range of your uh, support classes after the kite phase has ended. I think uh, she, that's uh, what most people do wrong here. If there's anything you can do wrong, two of me. I think that, I think that the tips for, uh, other than just staying near your boomkin and elemental, I think the tips that you would give someone for Supremus are the tips that you should follow for any sort of movement fight, like we went over for Archimond and others. If you need to move then life tap. If you need to move, then try to use a grenade. If you don't need mana, you can shadow burn and move. If shadow burns on cooldown and you need to move again, you can coil move. Um, but just utilizing globals while moving and trying to keep aware of uh, your buffing group members is about all we can really do. And obviously, you know, avoid damage, avoid the volcanoes and all that. I would say big here is to parse here. Um, is being greedy. You gotta be greedy. You gotta be close during the phase that's coming up. You have to sit there and one, hope he doesn't attack you. And then two, don't be too close to be that idiot. Like that little threat thing that happened. To be honest, I don't know how it works fully, but uh, I learned I'm as soon as I'm running, I I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. I'm wearing rocket boots today on this because I'm trying to get a parse here. I only got 94 and I'm just going to wear rocket boots here and I'm going to stand and I'm going to stand there and pump. And then if he goes, I'm rocket booting out of there. But, you um, used rocket boots on this side. Yeah, no, I haven't yet. I'm going to though this okay. week. Yeah. I'm going to this oh, week God. just in case he chases me, right? Because I am so terrified. Uh, right now, even right now, like I'm, I'm pumping right now. You can't see my my face, my webcam, but I'm literally like, please don't, screaming, like don't chase me now. I know I'm safe. Right. You can over aggro him between him uh, chasing a person, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's a it's a threat reset as far as I know. Every time he targets a new person, and then mm -hmm. you can over threat between. And if just you get like two Daldred. lucky shadow both crits, then yeah, you're fucked. Then you yeah. get aggro on T one shots, yeah. Just like Daljid, which is why I'm wearing boots on here. Right here, I'm terrified yeah. right now. Right now, I don't know what's going on. All <laughs> I know is that I'm here. I think I shatter. I shatter just now just for like safety and going into it, bro. I was terrified. But yeah, like he said, I'm just I'm just gonna wear boots and then like he's over like he said, if I over aggro, I'm rocketing the fuck out of there right here. Terrified. <laughs> terrified for my life, I would have booted just now. You see what I mean? And that's kind of how you have to do it on this fight because it's kind of hit and miss on there, right? Because otherwise, yeah. that's what other people are doing. Remember, partially on a warlock doesn't mean you're a good warlock, right? We all know that because people who I'm not saying they're bad, but people who can be bad like me and just get lucky with crits, bro. That's all it is.
Someone could stand still on Supremus and get no. super fucking lucky, and every mechanic fucking fire somehow dodges them, and it's a straight pass, bro. Like he doesn't get chased. Like all a bunch of meme shit happens, and that can, you know you just need that luck on Supremus. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I think there, there's a lot of fights where, where that rule counts, right? You can do everything, every little detail right, and if you have shit crit RNG, there's gonna be a warlock that plays 10 times worse. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, he gets a lot of crit and at least a 5 or 60% crit on Shadow Bolt, and he just has a better parse. Yeah. And I've had a lot down. of people message me on Discord and stuff about that as well, because on Lock Talks and some of my older YouTube videos, especially back in Classic and whatnot, um, like even in even in TBC, we talked about oh keep up emulate. It's it's a DPS increase, blah blah blah. Uh, on the earlier stages of uh, TBC, and a lot of people message me and they'll say, hey, uh, you guys recommended to keep up emulate or do this or do that. But I look at the number one parse, and the number one parse in the world doesn't do that. So does that make it wrong? And it, no, it it is good. It just gives you a lower damage potential and a smoother damage curve. You have less variance in your damage output. However, you could have someone that just plays like crap, but in 50 Shadow Bolts, they get 94% crits, and they're just going to do better than you. They didn't play optimally, but mm -hmm. they just got lucky, and they went for the high roll. Mm -hmm. And I no. want to say this as well, because people... not This is not just Warlock-related, but in general. Just because you see people parsing really good or something doesn't mean they're doing it right. And just, that, that couples with... Just because you see, you know, warlocks or whatever doing good, doing something specific in a in a big guild doesn't mean that they're always doing it right. You know what I mean? Because it is That's... a lot of RNG. A perfect example, and I love Cheris. He has a fucking blood magus blade right now when he shouldn't. Right? He can. There's other blades that he can get. Just just because, and he's amazing. He's way better than us, right? But just because someone is in that doesn't mean they're doing everything correctly. Just because we're someone to say someone's I'm clean hundred parsing doesn't mean I'm playing correctly. It means I'm the, the luckiest fucking person in the world. Because at the end of the day, parsing is a joke, and we know that, which is why we removed parsing on this and just with this, like tips for doing more damage because that's kind of cringe, you know. But you know, it is RNG at the bottom of the day, and you need good RNG on top of the gear, you know, on top of the crit and the haste and everything goes, you know, couples in. I would say even more so for healers uh, obviously you know having high healing output sometimes is really good but there's so many times where i can look at the meters and a uh, healer's chasing a healing parse but they are not actually doing the mechanics of the fight and they're just pumping like a uh, circle of healing or something like that they're just they're just cheesing meters and not actually doing the fight well i literally purposely stood in fire last night and poison on vashnal and all the time just to go so i can heal myself so i can spam heal myself Get the fuck out of here. If I could do something like that as a warlock, I would. Okay. Yeah, I think healers are like the most guilty of doing that. Playing greedy to for the meters to look good rather than it, uh, playing the, time, the way they should. In defense of the healers, wouldn't you? Mm, no, actually. I played a healer in classic. I played a shaman. And any time, and I, I'm not joking, any time that there was a trash pack or anything that could be one or two healed, I had a full enhancement set with as much crit as possible and put on Nightfall and Annihilator. And I did as much crit as possible so I could have as high flurry uptime as possible. Yeah, I, I even yes had I even had the agility enchant on it and everything. I, I refuse to be that guy just pumping chain heals on the raid when there's only like 1k damage going out. Alive's a big dick. Yeah, that one fucking shaman. I one time I made a meme of this. I focus targeted him on stream, and he was literally just spam. Not nobody's even taking damage. He's just spamming channel. Spamming channel. I was like, why am I even healing at this point, bro? I'm done. I'm saying DPS. I was like, what? Yeah, it's the point like, where you look at overhealing, fucking... right? Yeah, dude. He's just dude. I refuse to be that healer. Yeah, it was a GDKP, so like the highest healer, the highest healing done got cut, and he always lost because of the shaman, right? But it was still he was just still trying to fucking spam, spam. I was like, yeah, you bitch. Um. Trinkets back on to Supremus. I would say I, I'm suggesting unless you have Mark of the Champion, you Mark of the Champion and an on use or Skull if you have it. And if you don't have Skull, I'm gonna if you have Skull, obviously it's the, obviously use Skull. So I'm not gonna just say if you have Skull every time. But other than that, I would use double on use on that fight on Supremus. Don't use Quags. Yeah. You're gonna, there's so many fucking things you're gonna waste the Quags pack on. Just speaking on Quags, we know it's good and we love it, bro. But there there's fights that you should not use it on because unless you can literally know 100, I'm not not 98. I'm talking 100 you can get a quags proc and it not get wasted i don't use quags Here. well i i feel like that's just a general rule people should follow mm -hmm. on rng type encounters where mechanic uh, xyz mechanic can happen at any time or there's not a specific time window for you to count down to proc trinkets are just are just bad sure mm -hmm. they could proc if you get lucky they could proc at the perfect time for you and it and it works out great you know it's not like every single time you pull the boss they're going to be bad but you're just asking for something to go wrong if it procs and you have to move 
or it procs in your high aggro and you have to stop casting or shatter and you go on global from shatter, it's just going to decrease in value. Anytime that you have RNG based abilities coming out from the boss where you have to move at any given moment, those are the bosses where you want to add more control to your kit by using on use trinkets, as long as those on use trinkets are comparable. If they're just garbage on use trinkets and you have really good passive trinkets, then obviously use the passive trinkets. But on fights like this, like let's say you have Quags and you have Icon or something like that, I would go for the on use trinket. Mm -hmm. And obviously on top of that, the best on use trinket, Skull. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good, well said, but Chair, you got any agreements, disagreements on that? You good? No, I fully agree. Uh, all right. We all we also tend to use uh, double on use trinket more often because so many fights have that RNG factor. So mm -hmm. everything is right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for those just wondering, it's just because uh, on Supremus, um, the one we brought up, if you ma if you can imagine, you're pumping into him, and all of a sudden he starts chasing you, and you're like, oh shit! You turn around, you shadow run him, you run, and he proc fucking boom, quag. Any, I mean, imagine that's any fight. It could happen to anything in movement, right? This is a good quack thing, obviously, right? This is all right. Um, what do you guys do here for seeding tip-wise? What do you got here? Mm. Like to do? You'll see what I, I mean, do. But uh, what do I, do? I think this fight, I mean, what, what we always do is we pull one extra trash pack into the middle here and seed off of that, right? So I, I really don't know how you should play it in this scenario where you don't that pull the trash pack into the middle. Yeah, because that doesn't count uh, as bars, right? The trash, they take I it out. Uh, yeah, yeah, most likely it doesn't yeah. Well, yeah. it's only channeler i believe someone correct me in chat someone will know it's only channelers defenders and sorcerers sorcerers but, but you still damage the channelers right yeah if so you, even if you pull trash into it oh, true, the, yeah. the point in pulling the trash back in isn't for you to be hitting more yeah. mobs obviously that's good too but the point is is you pull it on top of where akuma is right now that way your seed reaches all six mm -hmm. of the channelers rather mm -hmm. than you seeding one of the channelers and it only hitting i'm two gonna or make them do that yeah i'm gonna make my guild oh. do that they don't do that so i just spam seed on all these guys i just put yeah. seed on all that of way, them that way your seed is killing the channelers all of the channelers at the same rate mm -hmm. uh yeah outside of that yeah. just seed shit bro yeah <laughs> we nothing to use you seed shit oh. good play I mean, wizardry yeah. fight if you swap uh yeah nothing much you can really do right seed you guys anything to add there mm. seed save your cooldowns and your all that for when he comes down obviously ignore think, the ads uh, don't seed don't seed yeah. phase two because it doesn't count towards the anything just ignore him and blow this guy up. later Hopefully. down the line i think you can use death report as well because you don't go maybe mm -hmm. well how much mana do i have after that well actually kind of doesn't even matter because you're you can tap all the way down into yeah look you can tap while running into position too right yeah oh. I'm, my man is like right there when at when i start moving I, w I would certainly say, especially yeah. like after your, your guild has plenty of T6 gear and mm -hmm. after the channeler phase when you're just mm -hmm. bursting boss, it, it'll be quite easy to fit in Destropot. And do you think it's worth, because I Destropot here on the boss, right? Do you think it's better to uh, Destropot on the trash? But yeah, yeah, to create on the seeds, right? It'd be more damage rather than on this boss with yeah. your cooldowns and lust, you think? Yeah. Uh, does, does the boss damage there count towards your powers? Because I don't, I oh, honestly it's don't the know. boss, right? Um. It, yeah, probably yeah, still mana yeah, potion yeah, yeah. for seed. I think probably still mana potion for seed. If you don't move, uh, if you have we, to move. I think we lust ads now, but we didn't. This is pro. Oh, this is week two, yeah. right? So we didn't. We have raided today. I'm pretty sure we'll be lusting ads. Week one was prog. Week, week two was kind of like testing some shit for speed runs we're running up on. And today we'll be testing some more. And then next week's like a big Zug run. Um, but I, I, as you saw, I just, I, I've been blowing all my cooldowns and stuff on the boss. But I think I'm going to use it on Destropot today on trash. That's a good idea. I think at some point you will probably even have people use full crit gear. Nether Void or Brute Cloak for AoE cap? Brute Cloak has crit on it for AoE cap. There's no crit on Nether Void. You have 50, what, 3 spell, whatever that is. Spell power wasted. It's shadow power and hit rating, yeah. Mm -hmm. You would want the crit if you're even close to AoE cap. Um, let's see. A comma. I'm thinking anything else. Nope, that's nothing else there. Keep going. <clears throat> Any questions, guys? Throw it in the chat. -a. Just going to point out, I thought it was pretty funny what Menark said in chat. It's crazy how this giant trash mob always drops two epics. Talking about Akama. <laughs> right? That's fucking good. It is just big. That's, that fight was pretty fun in private servers back in the day because they, they did last a while and you're seeding for like a minute, two yeah. minutes straight, right? Yeah. A lot of fun. I remember the fight back then. It was kind of hype, actually, because it was like, I don't know, the, the, the vibe you got when, when you killed Akama and he did the RP of him, that was always kind of cool. I think uh, in terms of RP, I really like the fight. Well, RP is cringe. 
creeping up on Terran, baby. Once again, nothing really to do here. This is a good uh, trinket wise. I like to, I would, I'm a, I would use, no, okay. Once again, I'm not going to say skull again. I would use double on. I mean, this, you could get quags out of this. I like double yeah, on you still. I, I just love that. I use quags on this. I think on this one, did that just so what I use? I think. Yeah, I did use quags. I, I like double on use. use. But you get good value to quacks. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna use Darkman on this for sure. I'm gonna use Darkman today on it because I feel like if you get constructs, your parse is ripped anyway. So yeah. I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna use uh, Icon and uh, what's it called? But uh, that's uh, what I also think about using double on use here. I think you, if you, if you play this fight, you should probably use Quack and on use mm -hmm. because if you get uh, the ghost, you're fucked anyway. And yeah, then you might as well have Quags on, which is high value. Mm -hmm. Would you use the Quags over Dark Moon? I'm not, but what do you think? If you have Dark Moon, because mm. a lot of people do have Dark Moon. They got it. Hmm. Also, just... another question is, how much would you guys spend for Dark Moon if you would at all? If you if you don't oh, have I Mark, honestly... if you do not have Mark. I know that I spend like 20k on privates for it, or even more. But, That's what I'm uh, saying, bro. 20K? I don't know. Yeah. I said 5k beforehand. I would probably, um, if you don't have Mark, I don't know. I'd probably spend like, if you have more gold, I'd spend like 3 4k on it. If you can get it cheap, get it. It's worth it, I think, on some. If you don't have Mark and you know you're not getting Mark. Especially if you're not getting Skull anytime soon. If you know that for sure, then I would for sure. This is just spam. You can't do anything. Don't get constructs. Don't get in a chat. And that's it. You can't fuck this up. You literally stand still the whole time. This is all just yeah. hoping, praying for crits. Well, on a fight don't like this, there. There aren't really mechanics that you were meant to like move away and dodge or anything. It's pretty much just a patchwork fight. So I wouldn't even say use this trinket or this trinket. You just, it's not really about proc or on use trinkets here. It's just use the two best simming trinkets that you currently have in your bags. Yeah, I'm just assuming. I know. Yeah, we know what those are going to be though, right? Unless, you're, yeah. unless your gear is just super fucked up compared to other warlocks. We know what that is going to be, which is what we just said. <laughs> it's people still, you got to realize people don't sim. I know you are big simming and some people like simming, but there's people like me who don't give a fuck about simming. I just go to, yo, J Paint, what's up? Are you alive? What's the sims looking like today? You know, I'll run some sims well, on the stream, but a lot of people don't want to sim and they don't, they just wait for us to tell them what to do. So, well, yeah. the reason I mentioned it is because you and you and Sherlock were mentioning, oh, mm -hmm. do you use on use or not on use here? And I didn't want people to get the wrong idea thinking like one is specifically better than the other for this specific fight. It's just whatever's the best trinket you have on hand, use it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. There you go, brothers. Best for single target. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's easy fight, boys. And non static. Yeah. Any tips for parsing um, the con if you're a construct holder? <laughs> you get constructs? Nope. You fuck, but. You have to use sim for runs. I know, I sim. I, I, I didn't say. I, I, I didn't mean to say I don't sim. I just meant like I don't like it. I feel like people are just like, oh, s fucking. Sims say this, so I have to do this. This one really, it's like, you know, I don't know. I get shit talked for it. I don't, I'm not a big sim guy. I do it all the time just because you have to, right? But I don't like it. And I kind of have yeah, to. I'm in the same boat. always ask me, like, yo, what's this? I, got the, I have to have the answer for that, right? Otherwise, Reddit will flame me. Watch out. Here, YouTube, bro. Uh, I think you also have to try stuff out for yourself after you sim it and actually make the decision yourself if it feels good or not. I think sometimes it's also a bit about the feeling and if you can get along with it. Yeah. Because, for example, I would never use Lightning Capacitator. I would never. Even if, if someone said it's like 10% better, I wouldn't use it. It just feels awkward. Very unreliable. In terms of uh, trash size and then shit dies and stuff, like you said earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah we're going to Reliquary. You're going to your Reliquary. You can go ahead and. Um, what trinkets are you using for Reliquary? On use. Double on you, yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Yeah, you should probably. I don't think I have it with me just red, actually. Yeah. Uh, we're just uh, moving on finding okay. real query where you guys uh, figure like, oh, Blood Boy, okay. You guys have Blood Boy in there, okay, we're going Blood Boy first. I see we did. Good, good. Uh, Blood Boy, boys, what do you guys think? I personally like double on use because, uh, actually, you know what? I liked double on use because the lusting cop popping cooldowns and during Fell Rage because you get clean back to back, but we're not actually doing that anymore. We're popping lust and popping in first phase and cooldowns back up again later. Oh, really? We don't yeah. do that actually. <laughs> I don't like it and I don't think we should be doing that. And I mentioned that to my Ray leader about it, but they kind of like whatever. So I'm yeah. just going to shut the fuck up and vibe out. I don't know, I think it's, you should not be doing that is what I think. Um, what do you think about that actually? What, 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 what's up? Share? 
and alive. Uh, I I don't like blowing cooldowns in Dust and P1. I think it's very unsafe, and uh, I don't. In splits, at least we go for the the safe the safe route just so we can get it over with, right? But if you want to parse, I mean, maybe it's better. I don't know. I don't like it threat reasons. Threat, yeah. threat reasons. Yeah. Probably now I'm really not gonna like it with our doom. I mean, if, and and if you ha uh, if you have a soul shadow resist, you are giga fuck for the rest of the fight anyway, right? So yeah. well, like it as well. I think it's it's clear that popping it early so you can get two activations within the boss kill window rather than one is obviously better. But yeah, like you guys are saying, if it threatens you of uh, over aggroing, then it's it's just not worth. If you can get away with it, sure. But if you're pushing the boundaries even in the slightest, and you might cause a wipe, I'm hugged the whole time. We did it. We have the whole time. We had a warlock pull threat on it, and they're raging on the warlock. It wasn't me, but I'm like, yo, in my head, I'm like, dude, do you know how hard it is for us? Like, we're losing damage because I'm literally not casting. I'm literally standing there, yeah. not fucking casting, because you guys are lusting in phase one. You can't like, it's retarded, yeah, yeah. bro. But you know, it's rules, whatever. Guild wants to do. I yeah, I was just asking you guys of that. And then also, I saw you guys are running next. Or do you guys still run next in your raid? Do you go crafting next to two of them? Yeah, for sure. Good. We Next are that all. just insanely good. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Sure. Sure. I was just terrible. admiring. I was just admiring the little uh, glaive offhand on Fienzi. Oh, <laughs> we got the, yes, uh, complete a set. Uh, set al actually. Already. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. What? We had uh, we had three glaives and five kills. Yeah, but the fact Ooh. that he was in the IDs for them. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, uh, the second glaive like two days ago. Uh, three glaives, man. That's crazy. I think I have that on on both this one. <laughs> I, 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 I would insane, say deserved, though. but it's it's Fiendsy, So at this point, Blizzard's <laughs> just like, "Yo, good job, progress. You guys get this here. It's all man." <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else we got here, guys? Okay, I would say save your cooldowns, and we'll know when your if your guild is doing that, right? Unlike mine, uh, save everything for phase two, and blast yeah. double on you here uh, because you get more control. Oh. I feel like I, that's what asked made me ask about this. I feel like because it's not a double on use, I mean because I'm not because we are phasing and lusting in phase one, I'm not gonna use double on use. I think I might it use won't, dark moon. it won't last the entire phase, right? Yeah, I think I'll use dark moon. I think uh, I'm gonna try dark moon here. I'm trying to think of a downside to it. Um, I don't think there is. Even with my trinkets that I have, I don't have school or mark, right? I don't think mark matters. I don't know what this guy is, but either way, I don't have it. Pretty I'm sure. I'm thinking it's about doing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking about using dark moon with uh, an on use for this. Like a free pump. I like double on use when we had a burst window in the. But I'm. I don't want to lust on pool and pop two trinkets, bro. Fuck no. I'm gonna be just doo doo on threat <laughs> that whole time. You know what I mean? What do you guys think? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. I. I, I don't know. I would probably like, strike and tell them to use lust on P2. Yeah. You know, I, I literally in raid last night, or the other day was like, Yo, why are we doing this here? And they just fucking didn't say shit to me. Like whatever. I was like, alright, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Fuck me, right? You know? No, they probably knew they that they were Zardoom, wrong. They gave me Zardoom. I don't care. Hey, it. they gave me Zardoom. You guys could fucking lust whenever you want. All right, God damn it. But just no, it's just irritating. If you had the issue, I just keep up corruptions, bro. I'm putting up corruptions during the meantime. Hopefully, that little break, you know, give me something. You know, give me. I'll put up a corruption to emulate sometimes if I can. Just whatever gives me a little bit of a threat break and be able to pump. Right. Yeah. You don't want to shatter too early. You're also kind of safe to shatter early in this one because you don't really need it later, right? Because the threat kind of, you know. So you can blow shatter here. Probably what I'll do. Less big, no shatter. So. Anything else? Oh, Before? overall, I I think it's a pretty basic boss. Other than just watch your threat, especially at the beginning. Okay, ROS boys, we go ahead. Go ahead and say double on use. Yep. And uh, fuck this gauntlet, All right? This is probably the most fun fight, I think, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, I do really? like I've, I've always considered this fight to yeah, you like it? Zug Zug fight. Oh, like, oh, I have a trauma. I killed myself on World First Race on this boss, man. Oh, <laughs> you bomb! You, did you doom? Was yeah. it like a doom and then a crit proc? Uh, no, it was, uh, no, it was an 18k shadow bolt crit, and I was like not fully top, but I didn't uh, see that Denim was still up on the boss, so yeah. So we don't actually run a prot warrior, so uh, it's, it, it, I like it because we don't have to worry about Denim. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, we didn't even doom. Didn't I was scared on prog. I was like, I called to pull the trigger. I was like, all right, nobody doom. Just be safe. Just in case the doom procs with the. Yeah. So phase one, what do you got to speak for him, bro? Anything on phase one, gentlemen? Blast. <laughs> Blast. 
Yeah. One thing I can, can say is, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if anybody else does this, but right before a boss fight starts, I'll tap sometimes if I have a little bit of mana I need. Don't do that on this fight or pay attention because you can, I've done it where you get stuck with that little bit of health less. Not a big deal because the phase is kind of fast. Um, pop cooldowns and spam shadow bolt. Yeah, it's yeah, a pretty gonna... zug zug boss fight here. Uh, okay. And again, you can Destro Pot because you have intermission periods. No threat. Yep, no threat. You have to worry about phase one. Just... It's also pure RNG fight, I think. And because of the last phase, right? If you get a lot of crits there, if you delay your cooldowns a bit, it's just pure RNG. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. So I was touching that when we get there too. Yep. Uh, we do blow cooldowns in phase one, but phase three, that's very big on this. Intermission, Drain Soul, best Drain Soul farm, dra uh, shard farm in the game. There you know. Oh, I just tried to parse here. Spam serious pain. <laughs> I don't think those count to damage. Really? Well, uh, he, why, he's why parsing on the. Well, I'm not a professional parser, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's the fact that it, the thought that count. You might be right though, and I'm gonna look it up because then that might be work. Shadow burn each one of them if you can get as much shadow burn. You can just blowing coils on little spirits. <laughs> well, chair, you can tell me, but uh, at least back in the day, we used to be super competitive on the overall raid meters, like trash boss everything. Yeah. So people would so, parse like yeah. fuck with searing pains and all that little stuff. <laughs> not not for actual logs, but just for us. Yeah, yeah, it's still the same. <laughs> like, nobody cares about boss pausing, it's all about the overall dimension. Yeah, I am exactly. usually 100% out of shards at this point, or getting close. I burn a lot. That's one thing yeah. I, I burn overall damage wise. I feel like burning is very undervalued by a lot of warlocks. I, I've, I, I burn so yeah. much. It's so much good yeah. damage overall. It's crazy. I agree. I agree. Then, you, then you lose that. You're not getting any shards. You can't gain shards if you're burning everything, right? But remember, you only have one burn. Burn something, drain something else. You have two shards right here. I'm draining every intermission here, bro, because I'm too lazy to go anywhere. Sheen of Zanza works to reflect. Oh, it's not rough to flask. I'm pretty sure. So any tank can reflect that in. Well, can't you just pop it and pop a flashback? Oh, okay. Use it just for your phase two, right? And the first hit is always... Oh, he, he, he means the tank. The tank should use it so he can yeah. reflect that. Yeah. I like that. Cheeky, I like that, Polly. Thank you, my friend. How are you doing? Pretty good for speed running. Yeah, Polly's big. Polly's big brain. He knows. Leaks. Just one guaranteed? I mean, that one might be worth it. It's a little bit faster, right? Quick, delete the comment. We can't let other guilds know. <laughs> Black out. Uh, phase three is the fun phase. This is where your parsing is going to come from, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. You got to get good RNG, like you said, on crits. I like to delay, like the, you can delay the lookout. Look when he pops cooldowns. You don't like that people will do it right away or after the see the wait a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you also have to kind of get a feel for it when to use them, right? Because if you do use them too early, you don't get the maximum out of it. If you use them too late, same. This is the best part of being a warlock right here. You can either, this is, this is, yeah. this is parsing Juicy as a warlock crits. in a nutshell, bro. You are just, yeah, you, wait, you either going to get all crits, no yeah. fucking crits, or half of the crits, bro. <laughs> I think I got pretty unlucky actually in that phase. Okay, that's one, 115k. Did you guys uh, see that stay safe clip on this boss? His first time doing this uh -oh. boss, he had like a, it was the end right here. He had... I think a total of three sixteen crits with like a twelve k shadow burn crit at the end. Hundred percent. Oh, Fienzi oh, don't. My God. Of course. Weasel pumping, bro. Fuck mages. I mean, what? Yeah, okay. Um, sense. are you guys stopped right here? Did you guys stop at the? Oh, I think we did. Yeah. Okay. So we'll finish up. Uh, we did blood boil. We have uh, council. Mother, 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 mother. I'm sorry. You want to talk about mother? My wife's behind me. to talk to her for a second. Oh, we didn't do mother until last night. Go back. Mm, need a mother. Finding a mother video about real quick. and I'll let them talk about it while I step away. Don't wear shadow resist and have quick reaction time. <laughs> I'm going to talk about shadow rest when I get back. One second. Be back. I don't think I fuck anything up severely, so you're good to go here. Go ahead, guys. Be back. Go ahead, sure. Is he really not using Shadow? Shadow Rest on this, on this boss? Or is he? Uh, I'm not sure if his guild did or not. No, because we still do. Absolutely. Yeah. But well, it, for it's a always running. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, Mo it's hard to touch, right? There's more people that I, I, I'd i say there's more people interested in chasing parses than people interested in trying to speedrun themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And for a speedrun, you just can't ever let anyone die. So going a little bit of Shadow Res or even like a moderate amount of Shadow Res is totally fine. 
But if you are one of the types of people where you absolutely need to get a 99 on every single boss or else you you feel like you failed the tier or something <laughs> like that, then yeah, yeah. you're, you're going to want to choose without Shadow Rose. But then it comes down to how many people don't use Shadow Rose and shit like that. Yeah. Right? Because, yep. uh, yeah. It's sometimes hard to get into the parse mentality when you're not in, in the parse mentality anymore. Because we always just go for safety in our splits. Yeah. But I think yeah, if you if you want to parse, just uh, don't use Shadow Rose gear, I would say. But I you mean, should still probably use Dester, uh, Rocket Boots. Parsing for almost all of the bosses in the game is like... Uh, you just go for the big RNG play and hope that it works <laughs> out in, in almost every aspect. And I mean, on this boss as well, the RNG factor in terms of the auras she uses, right, is also insane. So, like, if you get the Shadow Aura all the time, you're gonna pump higher than, mm -hmm. than someone who got unlucky, right? So yeah. it's also just another RNG factor to add on. Probably the biggest in the whole of tier 6 with the Auras here. Oh, feels um, bad, you see no Glaives in Crixus Rage? Oof. Oh god, nothing. Oh, hey, okay. I'm gonna yeah. Zardoom though. <laughs> we got three Zardoom so far. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I'm telling you Blizzard, you got them in your back pocket though, dead ass. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but how many how many black temples are you running, and how many black temples are ours? That's Progress true. is doing five, right? That's true. We're only doing like three, I think. We are doing four next next week, and we have one raid three, and that really doesn't count because it's like a separate, almost separate guild roster. Yeah, that's kind of how ours. So we have two. We basically have, uh, have have three like proper splits right now. Next week four, and then we have another separate raid. It's still the Masa Meg raid. Mm, yeah. Of so, uh, what did I? What did you guys say about Shadow Rest? I'm about to say some spicy shit right now. Ready? What did you guys say about it? Uh, so we pretty much agreed that like, if you're trying to, so for a Crick's Lock, for example, in a speed run, you can never afford for a person to die. It's just not worth it. So you could go with a moderate, low, or just any sort of safe amount of Shadow Resist. It kind of depends on your guild, but low to moderate. Um, but if you're one of the people that absolutely needs to get a 99 parse and you, all you care about is chasing parses inevitably you're gonna have to try to cheese it without shadow resist other than buffs of course like uh no. priest buff and whatnot yeah i'm 100 percent going no shadow res tonight on this i'm gonna wear rocket boots i thought about putting on so what happened was on prog week i got got a 42 because i just went super max i got like two you just saw that was prog actually so however many fatals that was last night I wanted to go harder, but I wanted to get out of the 40 range. So I went like 174 or whatever, just to get a comfy, like in the nineties. And now tonight I'm wearing absolutely none. I'm going to wear rocket boots. I thought about wearing neck to help, but I'm just going to go big dick it. GSPP, everything on cooldown. If I am the first one, I'll get rocket booted. The second one, I'll just hope that I can fucking pop some shit and survive it. I, I'm just going full RNG on it before we start doing speed runs. I need uh, it. And, and, and then you get the shadow reduction over all the, all the time. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, that would suck. Yeah. It would really suck. I think last I mean, night, that's what I really Last night we got shadow. It was pretty funny to watch. It was like sh we got shadow proc. I think back to back or something like that. Shadow or, and then I was in cooldowns with lust and two piece proc back to back to back or something like that. And it, during the shadow phase, and it was like back to back crits. It was so fucking clean. We wiped, but we expect another prop from no SR run. Yeah, I'm always. I'm always well, since probably have new people in here. This is a spec that all three of us agreed. All the warlocks, unless you're just like super into emulate. This is a spec that all we all three say you got. Everybody should run. Why'd you wipe? I wiped the raid. Yeah, I actually ran through fucking. Yeah, but to be fair, if I didn't forget to put Bakker boots on, goddammit, I wouldn't have done that and I would have just did it really fast. You know what I mean? But instead, I slowly wiped the raid. This is a spec all three of us agreed on that Warlock. Unless you're tanking, obviously, then don't take another protection. Um, I mean, actually, we didn't all agree on it. Chair Lock likes to put this po some points in Searing Pain right here. And also, we would suggest if you're not another protection to put them in there as well. That helps because we, you, all of us, if you went through our Lock, Searing Pain more than, you know, the average. Uh, that is a real Chair Lock, yes. <laughs> Is it is it uh, is it only me or is this Discord dying? Oh, we can hear you. No, you're fine. I hear you great. Okay, let, let me reconnect one thing. All right, bud. Yeah, that's the real chair lock. Um, it doesn't say his name right there for some reason. Fiendsy knows. He raids with him. He's just he's just me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He's uh, the biggest water pumper I know personally. Bro, can you guys just fucking? Here's the deal, boys. For lifting, or you know what? Can you guys just fucking figure out which warlock needs to go and just slot me in or what? <laughs> we can make it a gang effort, bro. I'm sorry um, if all of you guys are in here. Just know that I need I need it, bro. Just who do we gotta who do I gotta beat? Just tell Dib, me who Dib, I need to beat. Dibs on the demo uh, slot. You guys can play. Yeah, uh, Dibs yeah, on. Come demo. on, I'm telling you, bro. You pick up a live and I for lifting, and we're we're doing wonderful things. I know. Hey, look, I know what you did with Antfall, bro. I'm there. 
That's all you gotta know, okay? Did you call him Ant? Ant? Did you say yeah, Antfall? You know, Antfall, whatever. <laughs> Antfall. Hey, he's a shaman. Wow. shaman you mob, mob the movie Antfall. Yeah, he's a shaman. Bzz, you know what I mean? <laughs> Warlock or bust. Hey, Spell Hands is really yeah. fucking cool oh, in yeah, Rathalish yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, it's a double it's... event, bro. When are we gonna game? What happened? I, I'm here right we, now. We missed the double event weekend, bro. We gotta work on our death nights. I, bro, I'm here. I'm yeah. off the next four days. I'm um, taking another of my dad guild. Can't spec another prop. Yeah, if you're tanking Illidan, don't worry about another prop. Hopefully later this tier when people get some gear and officers decide to skip burn. Yeah, I don't think you need that much gear to skip burn to be honest. But uh, hey, oh, whatever your guild is saying, you know. You, but to, I want to let you know if you just in case you want to clip this, all three of us will tell you you don't need much gear to be able to one to to get past. You just that. need to make sure you use your uh, lusts properly and your mm -hmm. cooldowns. Mm -hmm. There you go. Clip that soon to your leader. We hope it helps. Um, wait, is there anything else? Are we done? Oh no, we're not done. Sorry about that. Mother was good, right? So we're going to council. Um, I actually am very interested to see what you guys say about this because parsing this fight is dickhole. I don't know what the fuck to do. Hope for the best. Hope for the fucking best on crits and everything. I there's like two camps on our guild. One one camp is saying you should always nuke the paladin. The other camp, which I'm part of, is saying you should swap to the mage oh, when well, there's yeah. no resistance. Magic, yeah. Up. yeah, you should 100%. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah well, that, the thing is, that's what everyone did on private as well and it worked yeah. really well. We're not here, right? We're not here, right? Now we're not. We're over there with the Warlock. The Raid Leader specifically put the Warlocks up there to, re to rest. So then we can uh, swap Mage when it res. The Mage can be immune to shit too, though. Same time. Like yesterday, I turned burned her and she was immune to all my Shadow Bolts. I was really mad. And if that happens, well, that's my fault for not looking at the, one, the debuffs. And two, I lost damage now. What do you think about seating right here? This exact, this exact situation. Oh. You I see would get that. guild kick probably if I see. Uh, I wouldn't see it. Why would you guild kick and split this shared health pool? It'll make them all go down. What are you talking about? I, I don't. But I'm at the, this is the thoughts that I'm thinking. I don't. I don't but if they have the shared health pool, they yeah. technically will be dying faster. I mean, I mean, in, in in theory, it's probably correct if you want to parse. But uh, I would be afraid of getting aggro on the on the rogue when he comes back up. I know he keeps a threat, right? Yeah. He doesn't do a threat drop. Yeah, I think you'd have you to can wait. Taunt you can also him. see. It, well, you can also see it yeah. off of him. He's getting cleaved with every warrior, so you yeah. can see it off. You can yeah. see it on the warrior or off the warrior. I mean, the rope. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, yeah. it is a little cringy, but I just kind of. Yeah. I feel like it wouldn't. I feel like it could be worth it, but it's so minute that it might not be. And you could fuck yeah. yourself if one of them are immune. You're instantly fucking yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's also the the shield on the priest, right? Which you can pretty much insta kill you. Yeah. There's just there's just too many rich. There's too many risk factors. And the payoff for it going right isn't that large of a payoff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. So, and uh, what we also don't do is we don't triple stack them currently. I mean, we will we will surely do in the future. But in Spitz, we are just tanking the priest separately at the moment. Uh, the spec, I just, I just, I just linked the spec again. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing here. I think that we've been doing this. I hope it cleans up. Our council has been all right. This is good. Um... But you guys aren't swapping to the mage at all, right? Nope. Now we are. This is Prague. We didn't do it on Prague. We are now like last night. I did. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Last night I swapped to the mage, but right when I went to go do that, he was immune. And I was so mad because it was three bull. I'm like, oh, he won't be immune for the next one. Oh, oh fuck. Okay. He won't be immune for the next one. Fuck. And then I switched yeah. back to the paladin finally. Yeah. And those immune ones definitely would have been crits too, for sure. 100%. Yeah. They would have been like 15k crits. <laughs> Never hit a 15k crit yet, but they would have been 15k crits. They, they would have sure. been though. Yeah. You would have hit them right there. Yeah. Um, I would also say here another thing, just like, uh, just like pay attention here. Just like. Archie, you need to pay attention and know that I'm getting, I'm a little close. Granted, they moved into me. Healers are going to move into you. It's okay. They kind of got to do their shit and they got to heal, right? So I'm going to, I don't do it now probably because I'm a bum and it's much easier, easier for me to see what I did wrong and tell you guys I should move. Like right there, you should know, stay in range, but move. Just, just in case this blizzard goes on him and you're on blizzard, flame strike, whatever, you know, just, just always move. Just like Archimon, how we said move out of the way. And when you move further on that, careful with your life task because of the fucking... I use a mana potion here, by the way. Careful on your life task because I'm scared. I probably won't this week because I'm trying to get a parse on it. But... Agony. Put an agony up on some other people when you move every time. If you're not... If you don't... I remember if you're not life tapping, we say it all the time. If you're not life tapping, put an agony up on fucking anything that you walk by. Granted, obviously, watch the reflect too. Don't put an agony on yourself, but... From the priest. Yeah. But life tap has a lot more value here if you can life tap if it's worth because yeah. there's almost no debuffs on the other targets, right? Uh, do, you, yeah. do you call your actually maybe ma maybe maybe the shadow does the shadow actually multi dot here in this fight? Uh, he should be. Oh, that's good. Probably, they have once right. again they have shared yeah. health pool, affliction warlocks, anything that has come a dot class demo. Mm -hmm. Even I would uh, do the same thing uh, as demo. You should be multi dotting as much as you can if, here. 
If you're still running demo, yes. I, I was going to say that the only Warlock spec that wants to multi-dot here as part of their rotation, of course, would be Ath. Mm -hmm. But like you said before, Crix, if you're doing absolutely nothing and you don't have to life tap, then you could toss up an Agony during movement. But if you are running low on mana, then I agree with Chairlock. Anytime during movement, that life tap's going to be more profitable. Mm -hmm. Good agreement. And then um, I'm going with a... I'm going to go with Dark Moon Fairness. I tested it last night. I tested the timers on it, and you can keep it up full time here. Um, very easy to keep it up full time. You just, if you're panicking, put a shot, you know, shadow burn instant. Unless you're AF, then you go with yeah. the Ash Tongue. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you're Affliction, I'd go with the Ash Tongue 100% if you have it. Uh, a few people already have it unless you're trash farming, right? And you could go if you don't have Skull, which obviously at this point of the recording of this broadcast, it's what, week three? So obviously the the large majority of, pe of people aren't going to have skull so if you don't have skull probably go with ash tongue and crusade mm -hmm. as af i would agree mm -hmm. i would 100 percent agree with that if you don't have either of those then go mm, i wouldn't use quags here to be honest i would use double onions probably yeah. at that point because you can blow a quags at any time a quags can proc right now on this shadow bolt and i have to move oh i thought i had to move because of flame strike you get it it's just not it's not it's not a safe fight to use it on. You might get lucky and I might get it now. That's 100% true, but you might not as well. And if you're talking about if we're if the whole point is how you can do more damage, then, you know, there you go. I would use a double on use. Yeah, I think as as pure Destro, double on use is what you want to lean towards here for sure. Right now I'm looking. All the healers are right there. I'm stacked right there. I don't I, I, I think we're just kind of tunneling. This is a horrible idea, right? All of us are right there. Don't do that either. I have Blade of Wizardry on. I must have accidentally swapped to that. Oh, I'm bow weaving like a Chad. Okay, yeah. Anyway. That's the fucking council. Anything else you guys want to add there? Let's see. Deathstripot. Did, did we say not to? Oh, Deathstripot versus Mana Potion. What do you think about that? Deathstripot. I use Mana Potion. On this I would. One I, was I would use Deathstripot. Yeah. Oh. A Deathstripot because you have oh, time to attack. I would, I would use Deathstripot. Yeah. I have been For a sure. pussy and been using Mana Potions because of stacking issues, but you are right. We should definitely be using Deathstripots. But you should also probably delay them, your they don't have doom. Um. I feel like if I was Affliction, I would be, to be honest, I'm going to be Affliction on this. If I was Affliction, I would probably be running around nonstop but making sure not to drop, n like, in my own zone and not stacking so I don't fuck anybody up with AoEs and trying to dot as much as I fucking humanly can while watching to not reflect any dots back on me from the Priest. That's what I would do if I was memeing, because if I'm thinking about memeing on this. Uh, at the same time, you can probably make an argument for just corrupting everything and spamming Shadow Bolts into Gathios, the, the Paladin. You know what I mean? That's, That's another good move. That probably would be a little bit better. I don't That's know. the play I would go for. That's the play? Okay, I would say... Just, just corruptions. I, yeah, Agony either is that, if possible. And then maybe if you, I, you might be able to, I, I don't know. This is a call speculation. I'm going to try it to find out. I think you might be able to run a deep af here and really fucking rip and just, it would be fun as shit. Throw up dots on everybody, get that ash sun trinket and throw up dots on everything that walks full fledged UA corruption agonies on everybody. And it'd be, I mean, it'd be fun as shit. You could see what would happen. Yeah. You'd watch your threat hella, right? And like get some shatters in there, stare at your threat meter on the, the mage specific. You shouldn't catch the mage. You shouldn't catch your mage, but you can. I did last night. This is this is a time you wish dual spec was in TBC. Oh man, I know this would be a good. One. I feel like this would be a good demo fight just because of the cleave. If you have them up three stacks like this, but I guess they're not always yeah. cleave. You're not always cleaving them too. It it would be really good during the cleave, and if you're not cleaving, it would just be worse than F. Yeah. Fun fight, definitely. I think in the beginning, Chair said this is his favorite fight. I would say this, and uh, Relic was my yeah. favorite, and I would say this is number two. It's definitely, in my opinion, the hardest fight for a raid for uh, for guilds, which is, you know, it's whatever. One thing you also should do is probably um, delay your doom if there's magic resistance over operant. The dots hit you even before you, if you dotted, they snapped it in there. Are you sure about that? I didn't know. I've never noticed that. Um, no, but the initial cast can resist much. Yeah, the initial. Much no, cast, but right? he's saying if I have a say an agony up on reflect and then she reflects. Oh, no, no, those I was just talking. Yeah, you know, I was just talking completely different topic. Like just delay the doom when you see the aura is up, oh. so you don't cast it into the resistance aura. Oh. That's another thing. Make sure you doom something. If you're not a, if you're not the doom warlock, go doom something else. You can doom the mage, doom the fucking you know, it might you, you can get lucky and doom the priest and hope you can get a immune on it, but go try to doom something else. RPG, are you can oh, if you can confirm no, no. that I'll believe you because I know you know Don't don't ever doom the priest. You will strand up one shot yourself. Yeah, yeah. If it's reflective. Yeah, oh yeah, it's good. What does, <laughs> wait, the re, it uh, does okay, yeah, hundred percent it does. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've never had it reflect I've never had it reflect back on me, but I've had it immune out. So this is why I like to go to the mage. 
But what's up with the yeah. mage immune though? Like I heard Kill said the same thing. We did mage drop last night and got trolled and spill immune. Uh, it's just times. RNG. We, yeah, on on PTR we had sessions where we had like two immunes on the mage, and then we had fights where there was like yeah. five or six. It's just RNG. Yeah, I would I would so, definitely yeah. do, like don't I mean if don't run away out of I mean I would run out of your way. You can't do in the paladin. I mean, well, yeah, you can do in the paladin, but if you're not doom, you can't, right? Oh yeah, no, no, the pop. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that it's just no. a shit RNG on it. Right? Yeah, Doom Priest, I just, it immunes out when I do it. That's what's annoying. I didn't think about the reflect on it. That's hilarious. Yeah, we also said some Maybe people just said Doom. So I just do the Pally anyway. Man, fuck, struggles. Well, you, you don't really think of it the first time you do it, yeah. so. Gotta learn the with the Hotry. All right, gentlemen. You know what it is. You were not prepared, or were we? I think we all were. Well, we wiped, so I guess you were more prepared than we were. Is, Chair Luke, is Chairlock going to use Darkman Trinket at all? Uh, I will have to see. Right now, I don't plan on using it. No. If you got it for cheap, would you? It's define not about the gold. Al also define cheap. Oh, okay. It's not about the gold. It's about how it feels to play with it. Because I'm a player, I need to be comfort uh, comfortable playing something. And if I don't feel comfortable, I just perform worse. And uh, I don't know. I just see too many occasions where the trinket might drop. And in the in the scenarios where it 100%ly wouldn't drop, I would probably use it. Uh, I'm probably gonna be forced to get it because uh, when it's like maybe only two percent better or one percent better DPS in a speedrun environment on certain bosses, we will use it. But uh, yeah, I don't really like the idea of using it. I love the idea of using it, but I liked it a lot more when you get an Hellfire, bro. I'm very sad about that. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's good, sad about because that. it added a bit more depth into the Warlock role, right? That's pretty sad. Um, I kind of like, I was hoping, I was hoping it would work, but I kind of knew it wasn't going to. I kind of like, I think only oh, maybe this was my doubt. Could have been some doubt, but yeah, I'm kind of upset. It would have been fun, but oh well, shit happens. Um, is there a good resource for T6 tier priority? Yeah, we have, uh, well, your Paladin gets one and then go to whatever Warlock, right? Are you guys going all four Warlocks? Are you guys going uh, to two each or what for your tier? What are you guys doing? Uh, actually, I have no fucking clue how they handle loot, man. I just wait for the loot, I get it, and I'm, I'm happy. Same, uh, same with me. I just wait for loot. I don't really know. I would say, uh, go ahead, Alive. I, I would say, well, the two piece isn't really that great. I would say just rush four piece onto one person, then four piece onto the next, then four. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be yeah. like, okay, you get the helmet, and then you yeah. can have the legs, and then uh, that's that's a really suboptimal I mean, way yeah. of hearing. I, I hope that's true because I got tier six shoulders. So, oh, so. big! <laughs> so, yeah. They're making it's a, a sign. <laughs> yeah, it's I a would sign. say no, that, no, uh, but uh, we we play a proper actually for the tier six, so which which is fine. I... But whenever it is, sorry, Craig. No, uh, no, no, Whenever it is your turn, uh, or the Warlock's turn to get it, yeah. if your guild cares about performance at all, maybe you're just a mm -hmm. casual guild, you guys get together on the weekends, you know, do raid, have some drinks, have some fun, whatever, then you can toss it out to whoever you want, one piece at a time, but if you care about progression or your performance or parses at all, I think you should just rush a four piece onto a person and then a four piece onto the next person and yep. not separate yep. each piece out. It's really it suboptimal to do that. Way. Yeah. That's what I, told I think that's, that's the way we probably do it as well. And we split the warlocks, like the main warlocks, into different uh, splits so we can and, achieve that the fastest. And if you know that a specific warlock is being rushed all four pieces a tier, then you just say, okay, that warlock has low prio on a weapon or low prio yep. on any other big piece because they're getting rushed four tier pieces at a time and not only are you getting rushed the four piece bonus but each and every tier piece is a pretty considerable upgrade just on the raw stats by itself yeah for sure i like it brother um as for the four set uh when i said two piece i didn't mean actual wear for the two set i meant more on what i'm doing is because i'm running investments route i want to i would like helm and sh helm and legs right because i'm running t4 shoulders and gloves and i'm not going to replace mm. t4 shoulders and gloves two piece until i have four set so i'll put on helm and pants obviously no yeah. and i'm not going to replace the t4 I'm, I'm going against what everybody else says because i love that t4 shit that shit procs all the goddamn time still yeah that is, there's a, nothing juicier than all the time almost not every fight obviously but more often than not that shit procking with my trinket with my trinket Destro pot with trinket Destro pot lust i'm running two set until i get four so i run yeah. if, I, if, if in a perfect world i get helm and pants at some point and then i can put those on because i want the wings and they're you know good upgrades but I am not putting on four set. Like if I get the third one, which is like shoulders or whatever, or gloves, I'm not putting that on until I get four. Yeah, that's the right way. 
for anybody who's wondering because people ask about that a lot. Um, doing force death power. Yeah, and don't be mad if it goes through power. It does 10% damage on consecration, which is more threat, which means you could pump more. So don't even worry about it. And I could feel the difference. I literally, he got force death in raid. And I felt the difference the next seed pack. So he went and enchanted it. Jim did and everything. I felt it right away. Do you know what I'm curious about on Illidan? Um, when he goes into the air, the dots you have on him still tick, right? Does yeah. it actually like count? Does it actually do the damage or is it just like into immunity? Does anyone know that? I don't know. I have no idea. Because you, what you can do is you can cast a Shadow Bolt and when you see he's on like 66%, you're most likely not going to get another Shadow Bolt off. So you can either use a Doom, but we use Doom on the Elementals. So you could potentially get a Curse of Agony off and it still ticks while he's flying in the air. So it's maybe I mean, something to look out for. Okay, you can just test that. that. When he goes up, look at his exact snapshot yeah, 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 yeah. health, and then yeah. when he lands, yeah. Yeah, probably. Um, big thing on phase two is so, uh, well, phase one we skipped because it's literally standing still and pumping. Don't worry about the fucking shadow fiends. I don't worry about it. Unless you get it, then turn around, pop it with a shadow burn, and get back in position. Doom the off target here. Big, 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 big. Or, I mean, that's for people who are cursed elementing and wrecking. Make sure you doom the other one if you're not, okay? I only doom the yeah. other one because we're killing it. Look how close this is right now. Doom's going off right now, and this, yeah, he just died. I would have missed it. So. Doom the back target, agony the front target. Even I know you didn't see me agony. Don't don't fucking do that. Just make sure you agony the front target. Doom whatever one your back one is. Spam shadow burst. You should never need shatter, so feel free to blow it. And you don't need it right now or save it because you can just alternate. If you see yourself on threat, tab over or switch over and bump into the other one, one or two shadow bolts, and then you can go back to skull. You guys can take it from there. I don't know why I haven't noticed this before after all the lock talks we've had, but. Why do you not have Shadow Bolt on Scroll Wheel, man? Do you just not like Scroll Wheel, or...? Is that something people do, really? Yeah, what? <laughs> I have it on one. Because uh, it's one and two, yeah. I, scroll wheel. I don't need it on Scroll Wheel. Why would I want a Scroll Wheel? More inputs per second. My Scroll Wheel. My, my, I had a Scroll Wheel that unlocked and it could free, free spin, but this one's not. I just press one. It's no Pressing one is no faster than Scroll Wheeling, I promise. It is, though. How? You can put more inputs into the server on scroll wheel than you can on one, especially like, depending on what like type click? of keyboard you have. Is no, like click, or do you no. just spam it? You just spam it. Dude, my fi and I my need finger to one of those scroll wheels. Yeah. It also depends on how your keyboard works, but that's getting into specifics. Auto hockey, scroll wheel, scroll wheel forward, scroll wheel seed back. Why? When I had an unlocked wheel, it was easy because you could spin it and literally just spam. But I like I'm pressing one. Doctor Wood is right though. Uh, <sighs> pressing one is the same as scroll wheeling if you have auto hockey. Then it's the same. Right here. Yeah. This I is a fucking that. strong ass finger, dude. This thing benches three wheels. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's used to pressing <laughs> it. This one right here, scroll wheeling. He's already hurting. He's already in danger right now. He's already that, scrolling. Pet. I'm doing a lot of PVP right now. Pet in, pet it back. That's what mouse wheel is. Okay, that's what my finger is getting trained. I think. Playing with mouse wheel like that is another thing that would make me feel extremely uncomfortable. So yeah, I would too. never do it. Mm -hmm. I've like, been pressing uh, one for a long uh, time. <laughs> yeah, same. We've been pressing one for a few years now, boys. So I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. I will uh, say I have foot pedals and Shadow Bolt is on a foot pedal. You're going to Shadow Bolt <laughs> seed and then push to the talk on a foot pedal. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Well, it's also, so this is, this is also minor as well, but it's more, uh, it's more optimal for your hand placement on your keyboard as well. Like there's, there's really good keybinds like R, T, F, C, V, whatever. And if you're right, your right hand is always on your mouse. So if you're trying to do something while casting Shadow Bolt, like let's say you're going to throw a grenade or whatever, you have your left hand free to press all those useful keybinds while your right hand is always on your Shadow Bolt key because your your right hand's always on the mouse regardless. Yeah, so. I just went big dick and got a Naga yeah. mouse and never have issues with any keybinds. Oh, you got that sponsored from Swifty? I wish. No, 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 I got. I, I I like force. I don't know if forcefully is the right word, but I got a. Uh, I got a like. I hesitantly got a Naga mouse, and then I never looked back. I, it's so amazing. I can't even fucking bro. It's, I, uh, it's yeah. remarkable. I, and if you think it's I, not, get one. I have the yeah, I have, I have, Naga mouse as well, but I I still I don't know. I still prefer it I, that well, way. Then you I well, I might just be like us, and you're just used to the scroll wheel, and we're just used to one. You know what I mean? Just over the years. I yes, I have, uh, but I still think that there there's more options and like the the fine-tuned detail by doing it this way but whatever it's fine oh yeah fine. no i know i'm not i'm not doubting you i just don't think my I'm, i think my brain would eventually scroll wheel but i don't i, I think one is just like uh, i don't want to get used to it yeah one is <laughs> I'm, shadow bolt 
Yeah, Shadow Bolt's been one for like 10 years, bro, since Wad, yeah, Wad yeah. Warlock or something. Ma uh, yeah, I've been playing like this game for like 15 years now, and on Mage it was Shadow, uh, Frostbolt on one, or Fireball, or Arcane Blast. Yeah, on Hunter it was pillar, Steady bro. Shot. On Hunter it was Steady Shot. On DK mm -hmm. it was uh, fucking Honorary Strike mm -hmm. or whatever. There's no way I'm not gonna get used to it. I always do like 1, 2, 3, 4 are my short cooldown abilities that I use like on, on regular rotation. Okay, uh, are we doing it? Are we talking about then anything that we can do to help with these boys in this phase? I spreading besides spreading mm. and pump, besides the raid mechanic of spreading and pumping, I literally don't think there's anything that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that that's about it. Mana pot, spread, pump, and hope that you crit. We seed early on demons here if you have demon phase. If you're not going through it, you can seed here. Other than that, if you have a warlock tank, don't pull aggro over him. And if you're zugging, zug. <laughs> Anybody else? Hmm. Should you save your shatter? Well, yeah, you, you don't need it. You shouldn't need shatter by now, right? Yeah. If yeah. you, if for some reason you're absolutely crit pumping in phase one, I swear to God, I'll shatter. I don't care. But the, you, uh, look how much I was critting in phase one in this, and it's, I still didn't. I, I, I can't touch my tank's threat. You shouldn't. I'll say this. Are you guys can chime in. You shouldn't be pulling off your tank. Your tank should be fine. You're, right now, not yet, at least. Your tank should. You should not have any issues staying behind your tank. I think. Yeah. So I feel unless you get a bonkers crit. Right, obviously that can change, but if you're just on average, you shouldn't be like having to stand still with your dick in your hand and just like, wait, oh, I gotta wait five globals before doing anything. Like, no. I mean, m maybe your tanks, uh, your tanks fuck up and they pull them up into melee range. Then you maybe need to shatter, but that's on the tanks and not really on yourself. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pumping too hard in transition. I'm bopped and still can't threat. So you're gonna see me die here, which sucks because I had like an uber parser and then died. But, um, oh, it's because you kept you you kept hitting yeah, while he was down, pumping. right? Yeah, we're all yeah, in chat. Yeah. We're, this is prog. We're all in chat going pump, pump, pump. The raider's like pump, pump, pump. And then I realized like, wait, we shouldn't be pumping. Yeah. And he didn't realize it. No, no. It's too late. I'm already only it. only the tank should keep pumping. Yeah, same thing happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, I was in it. Bro. I was like, I'm too late. Committed. Um, I heard I heard pump. I'm going. Yeah, I heard pump. Yeah. <laughs> and then after I was like, after because you know how like raiders are, they're not always right, right? So like yeah. you'd be like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. But I'm gonna do it anyway. That was one of those things. And I was like, wait a minute, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, what else here, boys? Dooming cooldowns, trinkets go double on use here. Quags is nice, yeah, I, but I feel like if proc you, isn't that bad here. Uh, yeah, it's not that bad, but it, it it can be though. On many different occasions, it can be on this fight. What if it pops at any time uh, when you go into interface? Pops going into phase because you yeah. can get a nice pop in phase one, I, and then a second pop go, going right into phase two. You wasted that, or out of phase two and phase three, you wasted that. I, I'm not arguing that it's better than double on use. I think double on use is still probably the way unless you have mark. Um, but I don't think it's as bad here as it was in a lot of the other encounters. I really wish I could use dark moon here, but I'm obviously not going to. God, that sucks. You can't yeah. fire that man. So yeah. stupid. So we got so quags on team uh, alive. I'm going double on use. Chair, what are you doing, bud? No, I, I, I would. Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> I alive. That's the opposite of what I said. I okay. said I would go double on use unless I had Mark, and then I would go single okay, use. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Alive is I'm... using Nexus Schiffer Horn and uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 Series yeah, yeah. Gift. I, I'm right? using I'm using Lightning Capacitor and Nexus Horn. <laughs> I can love you guys. Yeah. Oh, no, but okay. you should double, you should do double on use if you don't have Mark. Yeah. I guess you guys will see me die again. All right, guys. That is um. That's it. What can you guys add to this? What can we think of any questions? We'll just spend like five minutes just hanging out and you guys ask any questions in the world that you can think of. And boys, you just try to chime in on anything last minute you can try to think of. Um, Crux is too fun to use. Our flames of Azanoth undead and demon? No, they are... In, I don't know, actually. Aren't they elemental? I think they're they elemental. are demon. They're, are you sure? Are they? I'm, I'm pretty not, sure they're demons. Not positive. They're either demons. Like, I, sure. I mean, Ellie's can either be demons or infernals. They're demons? Okay, I'm okay. pretty sure they are demon. Okay, I'm, cool. I'm 100%. Flames are demon? Well, even, cool. thank you guys. Even thank better then. Yeah, thank you. I don't know. I think Quags is too fun not to use. Well, if you think about it, why is that? Because you get a proc every now and then that you kind of don't even notice that well? Like, why? Do, what makes you think that? Because I agree with you. I think it would be <laughs> trash, but if remember, when they, when you don't have that proc or it's on in ICD, think, you're, not, yeah. you're not getting anything. You're just... I, I understand what he means. It's just like fun when you get the proc and you have mm -hmm. the 1.9 second shadow bolt cast, right? Mm -hmm. uh, With cooldowns. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it feels a lot of fun. If you care about fun, I would probably use Quack all the time, yeah. Yeah, at the same time. But if you care about ours or. Like yeah, this, you until know. you get that Quack, miss proc, bro. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. If That's you're one true. of those people who use quags, and I know which I know a lot of people are, which is you know, if you use quags on every fight, here's the thing: the quags weak or is nice, but it's not going to help you control a proc, right? If you think about it, like what are you going to do? Oh, it's off cooldown. I'm not going to do anything for the next ten seconds. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like if you if there's a lot of people who've been using quags this whole time, which is more than okay, right? I think you should try to use a double on one time. Unless you just don't have the double. I guess a lot of people don't have double on because the fair is done with whatever it is done with. You can't get that, right? So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but if you have double on I definitely would try it. If you have, if you just kind of been hesitant to try it, maybe you're forgetting to use a second trinket, get a quick week or uh, tell me when or something and try it. And I think you might, uh, you might like it on the fights that you can, you do more damage, bro. It's just not, we're not making it up, right? Made lock at yep. the brute fest, no double on Yeah, if you have, if you have, if you don't, have, I guess we should have said that in the beginning. I forgot that maybe people don't have that. Ignore everything we said about double on use then. <laughs> <He's quags. laughs> I hope that you get something else. <laughs> yeah. Easy and just, you know, icon and get skull. skull. Double yeah. on use. Easy. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just just get skull forehead. There you go. A series gift and uh blood gem. Double on use. I mean that's not a do you use double on use and arcanist stone. You guys are good. You guys get it. <laughs> um, uh nifty pocket watch is on use. Here, where can anybody find you, bro? Can anybody find you anywhere? That's what I want to know. Just on Twitch. I don't. I, I stream when I I'm in the mood. I don't stream comms though because we're not allowed to in progress. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, when I'm in the mood, I stream. But I'm not really like a very public person, <laughs> even though I'm on this podcast right now. But uh, yeah, sometimes you can oh, check my stream out. I appreciate the shit out of you coming too, bro. This is huge. I didn't, you know. Yeah, you're welcome. Seen, you've been hanging out for a while, uh -huh. man. There's his Twitch. Yeah, you've been helping me grow. I've been, you know, been known you for a while now, so I appreciate it, man. I really do. Mm -hmm. Uh, made lo uh, would you not use Mark and Skull then? Yeah, I would use Mark and Skull and everything that you can use demons and undead. Those are bis. But I don't have Mark. So that's why you didn't hear me say Mark a lot. We said it in the beginning, I guess. Uh, I, it was more on like, we hope you guys know that if you have Skull and Mark, to use those on every time that you can, pretty much. Also, how you doing, Benny? Love you. I just like you're replacing with the Anus, yeah. Uh, is double Anus just always better than Quacks? Not always. If you can get um, good... If you can get 100% uptime, if you can make sure that, that that Quags proc and you will get it no matter what. Like if you think about Supremus and then you get a Quags proc but you're running and you can't stand still and pump, that'd be an example of a bad, oh, a bad time to do that. Maybe go Versus Blood me. Boil where you're standing there the whole time, you can't really waste the proc, right? No matter yeah. when that Quags procs, you will get that haste value. Otherwise, it's literally worthless. It's literally worthless if you put a Doom up and you fucking, or you know, an Agony or whatever you're doing and it procs while you're running and you can't you turn and burn. You wasted the half the trinket. That's half the trinket, right? Basically, TLDR. If it's a patchwork fight, you use uh, Quags over Icon. If it's if there's any mechanic that ha gives you an intermission period or any movement or any or uh, maybe you have to stop casting because of threat or whatever, then use on use. Here we go, Quags. If you do not have Skull, and uh, I'm gonna type it in chat so you too, so we can talk. If you do not have Skull and Mark, this is when I would use Quags. Winter chill. And Theron. Well, that whatever. Kazrigal. Asgalore. Archimonda would not. Archimonda, I'm double on using. Naj, Nagenthus, I feel like, is... is Because you only have Tidal Wave. I think I'd still use it. And just, but here's a good example. You can get a good proc, or you can get a proc on your fucking Shadow Burn before Tidal Wave went up, and you just wasted the entire Quags. That is a prime example of what... I, I would not use Quags on Asgalore as well. You don't think because so? Because you can get silent. Yeah, because of the silence, duh, right? The silence, yeah. I'll duh. We'll disregard that then. I'm, gonna, I'm using Darkmoon on that. Oh, yeah. If you have Darkmoon, I would use Darkmoon on all these. On, if well, you have Darkmoon also trinket, the... I would use those on all the fights that you can use Quags. There's also the Reign of Fire, right? Which makes yeah. you move, so... Well, you shouldn't have to move, though. Probably not Asgalore. Really? I don't you move. Don't? Ever. I always no, I don't move. move ever. No, you, you guys are doing oh, it wrong. I yeah. literally never move. If you guys are, if your warlock group <laughs> is over thirty yards, you will never have to move unless one of your warlocks. Oh, because you all range it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah but yeah. if he's twenty nine yards or whatever, just, then he can hit all of you guys at thirty two. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Rain of fire does one they, yeah. they just move. They shuffle around. So winter chill, Anatheron, Kaz for Quags. Uh, not for Asgalore, but I would use D Dark Moon Fair if you have Asgalore. Archimon, double on use. Well, dark. Yeah, yeah, because you can get yeah, air burst yeah. and you'll drop your trinket if you go out double there. Or, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, double on use for sure. Naj, um, I'm going to use the Dark Moon trinket. You can. What did you say about Naj? What do you think about it, sir? Uh, Sorry, what did you say? Nagentis. What do you say about Quags and Nagentis? How do you think about uh, that? I would use double use on use. Mm -hmm. I would use double use on well. You have more control over it. And uh, I think if you get a unlucky proc before the title shield comes, uh, 
Depends maybe if you if your girl is able to shatter the shield quickly, it may be better. But I think overall for most people it probably would be double on use. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm going to test DMF tonight on it and see if, if that tidal wave is it, to hit and miss. I feel like I think I, don't, I wouldn't use it. I'd probably use double on use because if that drops for any reason or you have to wait a little bit yeah. longer to get a couple people up, yeah. you're wasting that trinket. Yeah, because you, you never know, maybe you have a bad, a bad kill, right? And you have it up for like eight or nine seconds and then it's really scuffed. Mm -hmm. uh, Shade of a comma is a good quags fight. For sure. Uh, beautiful quags fight. This quags fight, I'd say. Uh, Blood boil and Terran Gorfine quags. I think. Mm. Um, I like double on use if you're lusting phase two, like we talked about earlier. Yeah. You have so much burst window with double on use. If you're not lusting on use, you can make your way with Quags or Dark Moon. But I like to, I, I don't know. I like double on use on Blood Boil, kind of, to be honest. It just feels. Yeah, it's good. It just feels good. But you can definitely that that you can definitely make an argument for Quags on that for sure. I'd say. Um, Royal Courier Souls. I would say double on use as well. Don't use Quags because all the intermissions sure. and stuff. Obviously, that goes without saying. Uh, sure, yeah. What else? What else? Taryn, we already said that. Mother, double on use or not quags? I mean, I would go double on use. Yeah, yeah, because you can get fatal attraction and waste the quags. That's simple enough, right? Obviously, if, if you don't have anything but quags, this is not for you. But as for Dark Moon Trinket, I think I can get away with that because I, I think I can get away with that because I can always hit the boss. Even when you we get shit fatals, we can. But do that on your own progression, transgressions, progressions, whatever. We're Council fucking, diversion, whatever digressions, whatever word that is, do it. Council, yeah, what? Council, I would do double on use as well, unless you were specifically AF, then I would run Ash Tongue. Yep. And then, uh, Illidan, baby. Double. Yeah, double. double. Or if double, you have yeah. Mark, Mark. Double trouble, yep, or Mark, Mark. Yeah, and Crick said this before we started talking about each boss, but just wanted to reiterate for people who might have just joined or anything. We're only talking about using double on use versus not using double on use. If you don't have um if you don't have mark plus skull obviously if you have skull you use skull if you have mark and it applies you use mark all those gdkps i did the whole two of them or the one next gdkp i did before launch and it dropped mark didn't i didn't buy it i was like i'm never gonna use it i'm gonna use dark moon drink it i wish i fucking got it <laughs> i don't have it either heads up mate yeah private server andy's bro um it doesn't oh. matter because now for listening we'll have everything we need, but watch it not need anything, right? <laughs> I, I don't have it because I completely re-rolled after T5 release. Okay, there you go. It's kind of a funny story. I didn't know progress was aligned, so uh, I applied, thinking it was a horde guild yeah. because I had no clue about the the life guilds, right? I come from retail and yeah. uh, I only played a bit of private, and uh, then the officer at the time or still officer told me mate you know it's an alliance guild right and i'm like oh fuck no <laughs> and, I was, and he was like do you still want to commit because uh, we are interested in, in having you and i was like oh let me think about it and then when like at, at work i was like five minutes do you really want to go fucking cover again all the time and fuck then yeah, do bro. all the pre-quests and shit and then i was like okay yeah let's do worth it, it. and it really it. paid off yeah it was, really it, was worth it. it was worth it i, I re-rolled too I, I quit classic i didn't play much classic uh, yeah. I had to re-roll Orc. I, ding, I remember doing a 60 like a week of pre-patch. My first Nax was the day before launch, TBC launch. A lot of fun. I had fun though. It was cool. I'm going to EU I think for Lich King though. I'm already working on Toon. I don't know what I I'm doing. I'm just leaving it open. I'm going to have an Alliance Warlock, a uh, Horde Warlock, and then an EU. I just, yeah, I don't have Mark closer. either. I re-rolled from... I, was, I went from Warlock to Warlock, but my EU account over to my NA account, so I was a level 58 boosted Andy. Yeah, bro. Who doesn't even play TBC anymore, yeah. understandably though. <laughs> Same. Um, boys, I think that's it, man. I hope you guys answered whatever questions you had. Obviously, we talk a lot and cut each other off. It just happens, bro. We don't mean to. It just we're just passionate three motherfuckers about warlocks, bro. Um, live spam your stuff in here, bud. I can go find it for you if you want me to do it. And uh, it's all good. I'm on a little bit of a hiatus at the moment. All right. Well, either way, it'll be on there for the VOD. I'm going to put this up on the podcast site here in a couple days. And uh, my stream is going to keep going. I have a we have raid tonight. I have a whole bunch of shit I'm doing right now. Um, That was fun. I watched the VOD back because I missed out. Yeah, I'll put it up on YouTube as well. You can definitely watch the VOD again. I'll highlight it real quick before right here. And then uh, next week's episode will be gearing about gearing specifically. Just like an hour about we'll get Ryan J. Payne or whoever wants to come in here and talk about gearing. And they'll go over Sims and stuff, too, because, you know, how I feel about Sims. And those guys are a little bit better than I am at it. So. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Um, that'll be next week's episode. And then after that, I think next week's episode, we can maybe, or after that, we can do like a speed running episode, like a heart of devoted speed run episode here. Sure. And whenever you guys start speed running, uh, are you guys speed running? 
Yeah, but I can't really talk too much about it, right? Okay, cool. That's I'm fine. not allowed to. Yeah, yeah, that's so. fine. We'll figure it out then. And then I want to do some PvP episodes. I PvP in a lot, so I want to do some PvP episodes. So we'll have we're gonna have like about a, probably like three, four, five weeks of uh three, four, three, four weeks of lock talk. Oh, not gonna be PvP. We're gonna have some PvP episodes too, and we're talking about Lich Maybe a Lich Chain episode just for funsies and get Ooh, like, get a big brand. That one's gonna be high. Yeah. yeah, let's have some fun with it. I want to bring some episodes back and chain them now that we're getting. We have a little lull here, boys, but it's a good time to be a warlock, man. So be happy, boys. Good luck on your guys' loot. Yeah. Peak is coming. Anything? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, well, shout out to my guild. Thank you for having me. Gang, gang yeah. on progress. He said, "Gang, gang, higher cricks." Yep. What? Um, alive. I love you guys. Cherry, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Cheers. Nice seeing you all. Peace, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Take care, guys.